Yo. Yo. Are we live? We're live, aren't we? Alright. Music. Oh, that's blasting in my ears. Something more like this. And we should be good to go. Let me just get the chat up and running. I don't remember where chat... Uh, there we go. Mm -hmm. Alright. I think we're, we're good to go. <clears throat> if any audio issues appear, let me know. Hey, hi. Hello, hello, hello. All right. Let's jump right into it, I think. Because I've been busy. I've been busy working on this CRT Model 4 for quite some time. It's been painful, to say the least. The typical, the typical viewers are ga gathering. Hi, guys. Hi. Um... So this model, right? Last time we left it, it had it had an issue that was called not having any bones. So not being able to be transformed. Now that issue is fixed. Now it has bones. The thing is that um, I had to make a custom skeleton, custom rig, rig for it because this freak crd model is like it has weird joints for instance the elbow right this bone bone can only be rotated around x axis right and it should not be rotated around x or sorry around z axis it shouldn't be rotated around y axis right so that's that's a no-no right while this one should only be rotated around y-axis and not any other one. And not just that, the shoulder uh, rotations are the same, the head rotations are the same. So basically, I had to make my own little rig. Oh, this is cool. Let me show you the, the hands right here. So these fingers that took me so long but now as i'm rotating one just crop so it's it's easy to you know give the middle finger bam like that and then all we need to do is just whoop And just rotate that like so and this one oops nope grab it properly like so and then you have the middle finger let me make it pretty Whoa, my computer is chugging now. <laughs> right? So now animating this will be, or should be, a breeze. Hopefully. Uh, there's one more thing that we will be doing today. It's adding the Patreon supporters. Like creating a, a logo, not a logo, but like a stamp for every top tier, not top tier, um, Patreon supporters that have given the channel most money. I guess that's <laughs> that's the best way to put it. We're going to be creating these kind of um, unique uh, stamps that will be slapping on the robot and in different places on the CRT. So we have the top supporter, which is Martin and 
And here we go, Martin's Cow Butchery. It's upside down, but you get the idea. Um, so we'll see about that. Now, one last thing. Hey, Jay. One last thing. <laughs> this should be the thumbnail, honestly. Um, let's go back to here in front. I do want to see the bones. And, and, and let's... Let's not do a fuck sign, <laughs> right? I, I don't think that's 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 a good idea. So let me just revert to the last saved instance. There we go. And I guess I need to um, just choose the correct uh, action and just place the all of the keyframes here because this is like the standing action right i also have a walking action right here which looks like this i've already animated it <clears throat> the animation i guess it's walk am i no it's not walk it's walk cycle my apologies there we go here are the keyframes. And if some of you are curious about the curves, uh, let me just show you. If I remember, oh, come on, give me, give, give me, give me, give me, graph editor. There we go. Should I normalize them or? Yeah, probably. Oh, they are normalized. Yeah, there we go. That's non-normalized. Non uh, pretty hard to see what's going on. So I'll just select the 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 i key bones for for now these ones so you can see that they're basically like a sinus sinusy curves that just hit uh, once they hit the ground they become linear so basically when when this happens when the heel hits the ground there's there's that snap let me go back here so heel goes 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 Hits the ground, bam, snap. You know, the foot snaps in place in, in a span of two or three frames. That's important, or else there's no impact in your walking animation. This makes it more natural. Bam, bam, bam. You got, you got the idea. Um, so we do have a walking animation that we will be able to test out. Um in unreal but now what i want what i really really want i'll tell you what i want what i really really want is a standing animation this one so we need to kind of when we're not walking the character needs to chill you know and just kind of swivel around on his uh two two feet planted on the ground so our first frame is this, right? And of course, it's going to be the last frame as well. So we're dealing with 40 frame span, right? So the last frame is going to be the same. And now if I change something in the middle frame, for instance, I take the pelvis bone and I push it just a little bit down. Uh, that was too much. Probably something like that. And I press play. You can see now the character is kind of swiveling a little bit. Right? And that's basically the, the idea. Alright. So let's mess around with it. Um, So as the character droops down, the feet are going down as well. We don't want that. So I will be changing the angle of the feet. This is just my fault on on on, on using on, on not creating proper I keychains because I don't know how to. So we need to adjust the feet manually. But hey, 
it's not, not shouldn't be a big problem. Ah, come on. There we go. Now, as the animation play, that foot right there is a little bit yikes. What's up with that? Animation 10, uh, or sorry, frame 10. Let's figure it out. Only later, after modeling this for a while, I'll just drop this down. Not modeling, sorry, after working with the keys, uh, keyframes for a while, I figured out that, oh wait, you actually, um, the foot uh, actually, uh, sorry, not the foot, the, the, the whole I key chain is not important for uh, hard surface, like robots or hard surface animation. Uh, you usually just do FK, FK chains, which is, you know, just rotating every joint manually. Well, I guess we learned. Still a little bit wobbling. That's, I think that's fine. Let's see if, if you can actually tell. Yeah, it's a little bit on the wobbly side. I wonder why, why that, why that happens. Perhaps we can do something about it. But no, it needs to be firmly planted, right? So we can't really do much about it. Okay, I'm, I'm gonna keep it that uh, the way it is, uh, just for the sake of uh, moving forward. And then if, if I need to, I'll come back in here and fix it. All right, so now, as it's going down, perhaps the shoulders expand just a tiny bit. So it's going to be this. No, I, I said tiny bit. Um, minus 41. That is the opposite side. Like one degree. There we go. And as it's doing it, perhaps this arm rotates just slightly like so. This one... And it goes in a little bit more. Hmm. Could we do something a little bit? Ah, that's too much. Like that. Just slightly more. Yeah, there we go. And then this thumb. Can it touch? the surface just dink touches the surface while this one also reaches the surface dink all right let's see mm, that's too much in terms of rotation on this side also I would argue that the dip is too big so I'm going to uh, actually move it up just a tiny bit something like that that will need to be fixed again should be fine. That's fine. Okay, so now back to frame 20. This rotates too much. It's, it's a natural. Ugh. It's a natural how much it rotates. So we're going to bring it back a bit. Even more.
Okay. Perhaps this hand, uh, this arm can actually... Oops, that was way too much. Can actually rotate a little bit less outwards. Something like that. Oh, that's frame 16. My, uh, I'm stupid. Uh... Control X, no, not Control X, just drag it over to frame 20. Should overwrite. It does. Nice. Yeah, okay. That that's better. That's better. This one. Um this one can at frame 20. Can rotate out a little bit. The fingers can rotate out a little bit. This one max out. This one's already maxed out. And this one can go in. Like that. Hmm, not so sure. Maybe even more. Maybe this one also can be maxed out. Uh, why do they... Two, three? Do we have more? No, we don't. I'm wondering if... Like, it's, it's very jerky, isn't it? Just, wow. So nothing, 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 and then bam, starts, starts going here. I wonder why that is. Uh, let's look at the curves. Mm -hmm. So the curve looks good. Uh, could it be that? No, it's it, everything's fine here as well. Oh, I know, I know, I know, I know. What, what what's up? It needs to be like we're we're overshooting the angle, so it needs to reach angle zero. Okay, yeah. Now now I know. Now I know. Uh, so with these kind of um, restrictions, limit rotation restrictions. Even if I limit the rotation to zero degrees in z-axis, so it can't bend backwards, the... Let me show you. Like that. And th that robot can't do this with, with his fingers. It's fingers. Right? So, because the limit is set to zero. Uh, so that this is zero position. Um, even though it's set to zero here, I still can type in, like, minus 500. Or, or rather, let's let's go to a proper. Let's kill this and go to frame twenty. So here you can see it dips to minus like forty degrees right here. It can't. It it needs to be like zero, like that, because um, it basically will just limit the minus forty to zero uh, as it's as it's working its way through it. Uh, it's it's a weird way of how limit rotation works, but you need to always make sure that you're not over rotating, um, especially when you're animating. Okay, that's good. What about you? Yeah, see here it's also well, this one needs to die, and this one needs to chill out at zero as well there we go so i'm just gonna go through all of these and make sure that they all reach zero okay bam okay that's that's better that's better uh so we have ourselves a little arm rotation uh, perhaps we can give it a little bit of a a little bit of a whoop. 
Yep. And maybe this one as well. Or does it... No, it doesn't have it. But this one is rotating through the elbow, so... Uh, I think we keep it that way. Okay, this one is starting to look a little bit more lively now. I'm happy. I'm happy. Okay, now it's time to work on the pelvis. Not pelvis, sorry. On this area. So I'm going to hit this with a... Not a big one, like a... That's like two degree. I guess we can do like a two degree turn here. And which will mean that the neck or the head. Wait, we don't have any more turns, do we? One second. So that turns. Math. Okay. Let, let's do it this way. <clears throat> so we're getting a two degree turn here that's too much i think it needs to be minus one like it, it needs to be very subtle so minus one degree like that and the head needs to turn back to normal so like that is that horizontal does that look horizontal that doesn't look horizontal no, it's not. Okay. Um, needs to be horizontal though. Whoa, not like that. Okay. Somewhat horizontal. Doesn't need to be exactly horizontal, but... Whoa, that, that's a lot of swivel. So even one... Um, Yeah, even one degree, or or was it two degrees? Yeah, even from minus one until... Oh, it, it goes until minus five, so I'm being stupid. It needs to be uh, like minus four. How's it going? Slowly. <laughs> it's, it's going slowly. Um, I'm building, building up the CRT model. Um, once once we're done with this animation, and I'm, I think we still have like 15 minutes, around 15 minutes to go, then we'll start <clears throat> using Unreal Engine and getting this uh, model in Unreal Engine and, you know, uh, start y using Unreal Engine to, to actually check if... if, if all of the animations work or not before I get sucked into work for the day Jason what do you do what do you do for a living what's your social security number tell me okay we fiddle this back I said back oh my god the only thing that I really don't like is the rotation in, in, in Blender. Um, somehow it's it's weird. Mm, is that too much? It's too much. We will do... Minus 4. And add... Uh, minus 2.3 I guess absolutely not so that's that becomes 0 doesn't it ok that's better that's better data engineer developer alright that's uh what the hell are you doing here <laughs> <laughs> We don't get, we don't get people like you all, often here. What are you doing in the, in these neck of the hoods? All right. So 
that's done i guess that means on frame 20 can we kind of swivel this also just a tiny bit like minus two like that you can't even tell i guess minus three then uh sorry minus one we are going in the opposite direction yeah okay that's fine oh okay 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 Oh, so you're... Okay. Now now I know who you are. <laughs> side hobby. Well, that, that's a very good side hobby. Some people take up heroin. So, it's better. In some respects. Um, minus one? No. Uh, one? Hmm, kind of probably like a two. That that feels like a two. Yeah, that was a two. All right, <clears throat> it's getting lively. Um, I think the last bit is gonna be the elbow. Just slight rotation of the elbow. Alright. Okay. So we've got that going for us. Now it's time to dial it all in. Oh, also these. These are now being a pest. So please go back like that. Like that. I said like, yeah, there we go. That's the rotation problem that I have with this again. Okay, that's good. <clears throat> and you go back. Yeah, there we go. Should be good. Uh, what the? F God damn it! Ah, uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Or maybe it's. Uh, maybe we can just do it this way. That's such a naughty click click. Okay, uh, where does the click click happen? Somewhere around here. Can we force force it down? I think we might be able to. Oh Jesus! Ah. Uh, all right. So that ain't gonna help, but we can at least soften it a bit by doing this and then going to frame 10 and hitting it again, like leveling it all out. The way you solve this, by the way, is by adding one more bone here along the bottom of the foot and forcing that bone to always stay horizontal. Well, any direction you want, but I've spent, yeah, that's fine. I've spent like a, a month working on this, so I don't care anymore. Can you do, can you not do the character animations in Unreal? Uh, or do you find it easier in Blender? Uh, you can do them in Unreal, uh, Unreal 5, for sure. Um, Blender is more suited for it at this point. But... You definitely can. There's no reason why you wouldn't. Uh, why why you shouldn't. Um, it's just... I, I think it's just a matter of preference. Why does that kind of lock in? Or does it not? It feels like it locks in. Bam. Yeah, it feels like it kind of locks in there. 
How does the graph look like? Uh, damn, I love graphs. I, I, I definitely understand everything that I see here on the screen right now. And yeah, I'm a professional right here. Okay. What we're looking for is something that is straight, but at an angle. And it doesn't seem like anything is. So all of the movement, the transitions and movement are soft. So it shouldn't snap. That That's my expert opinion from reading that graph. Would you recommend switching from Rhino to Blender for mesh editing, boolean operations and such? Definitely not for boolean operations. For mesh editing, uh, depends on how heavy lift, uh, how, how much heavy lifting do you need the program to do. Because Rhino is pretty good at mesh editing these days, uh, with like sub D forcing a lot of mesh tools to appear in Rhino. Um, so it de it really depends. If you need that like top 1% of um, like a tool set of, of you know, cu cu customized tool set for you for, for your convenience. But uh, Blender is objectively still better at mesh editing than Rhino. Uh, so, you know, you, you could switch, but I personally don't, right? Because I don't need, need, need the mesh editing as much. Yeah, it might be the loop giving the illusion, or it might be the lag as well. Uh, so the loop lagging a little bit. Okay, let's say frame 10, something happens. Frame 10, the head swivels to the side, like that, and frame 30... <laughs> oh! looks back <laughs> real quickly <laughs> maybe not not that much um let's go back like that mm, that's too much Like all of the movement seems to be a little bit exaggerated right now. But when when I kind of zoom out, seems to be fine. Okay, frame 10. Um, be a little bit closer. Rotate a little bit closer. And for the fingers, all of these, let's just borrow this, shift D, and get it in here. So you can see that it stretches faster now. Um, actually, the fingers, those can be even closer to this. Boop. Um, that's too close somewhere here and I kind of wanted to hold more um, so let's say the fingers here can they kind of stay until frame 30 yeah I like that all right uh, then And this also kind of go until frame like 15 or so. Right. Um, freaky fast. What do you mean freaky fast? Uh, 
Uh, yes, all of the animation frames are at zero at the start and the end. Absolutely. After the head turning, yeah, yeah, it was a little bit too much. A little bit too much, I would say. Um. Can this kind of... Okay. Uh, can we just bring it back a bit faster? Just whoop. Hmm. Maybe not. I kind of wanted to... Yeah, something like that. And then... So it kind of touches the, the, the leg and just... Oh, pops, pops away from the leg really quickly. Which means that this finger right here will need to. Boop. Yeah, do that. And as it's doing that, this finger. Oh, it didn't even have uh, a rotation. Uh, kind of bends a bit, yeah, bends a bit more, like that. Right, and, 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 <clears throat> frame 40 is actually frame 30. <clears throat> And frame zero, it's actually frame 40. <laughs> Damn it. Okay. <clears throat> Let's see this in action. Yeah, there's no intersection, right? At least there doesn't seem like there is any intersection here. <clears throat> Ooh. Hell yeah. <laughs> the pain in your neck. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you're not an owl. You can't do like 180, huh? Oh, um... little question here for architecture which is better to use blender or rhino without any doubt it's rhino absolutely it's rhino okay i think we are on to something here uh let's look at it like that <clears throat> keep in mind this is at 15 frames per second i think as a Okay, so we'll, we'll be doing blending of animations, right? So this is not going to be the only animation, but rather on top of this, we will kind of add more swivel and so on. So it's going to be uh, more unique. But that, as a 40 frame loop, I think this is good enough. We will, we will stick with this. We'll stick with this. Okay, time to export things so this stand animation i push it as a action make it a stand strip all right um so we have like a standing and then we will have what does this tick mark do and then we'll have walking, right? 
So it's walking and it's standing and it's walking and it's standing. All right. I don't know what the tick marks do. I'm scared. Well, if something doesn't work, we'll figure it out with the tick mark. All right, let's save this. And let's um, do some Unreal Engine stuff. I wonder if we should create a new file. Uh, I do have a 5.1 version of the climb up uh, game. We can test it out there because I have most of the stuff set up. Yeah, let, let's test it out in, in there and just replace our bunny mecha with the with this. There we go. Let's see if this works first. Waiting for the static meshes to be ready. All right. How's my frame rate? Is it dropping? It says that it's, uh, wait, uh, let's see, status, stats. Let's see. Ah, uh, I'm not dropping frames, so that's good. All right. Let's start this. Skylight waiting on meshes and textures for... Oh, it's preparing textures. Okay. But yeah, this works. This works like a charm. And like a, by like a charm, I mean like 90 frames, 30 frames. What the hell? Oh, because it's preparing the meshes. Have you guys played this game? And if not, would you like to? I'm stuck. No. Bam. All right, so that that works. Um, let me give you um. Uh, one second. A link. With a virus in it. Yep, I'm harvesting all of the data here. Um, anyone with the link can view. Yeah, that's perfect. There you go. Should be fine. You should be able to download it. Hey, Ginters. <clears throat> All right, so let's jump to the the browser here the content browser and see how we set this up for the bunny mecha first of all what the hell we used 8k textures that's insane 187 triangles 187,000 triangles 213 bones all right mm-hmm and a movement speed for the bunny and animation blueprint okay so this this one right here is gonna be the key the nada uh, this will be the key where we have the state machine and output pose and the state machine is walk, jump, fall, jump. Okay, so, and I assume, wait. If I just double click here, there is the idle. 
Then the two blending poses. Yeah, okay. Uh, we have everything we need here. That's perfect. So I'm just going to duplicate this and call this CRT um, animation BP. All right. Let's create a new folder. Call it not well that's fine crt bring it to our content like that and then for animation blueprint where's our yeah there we go this one we just drag and drop it to sorry where where where, where did i place it oh no oh there it is okay that who to content um, and all we need to do is just drag and drop the animation blueprint to CRT. Alright, so we'll have that. I will also need like a separate um, movement speed uh, thing here that, that controls the speed of movement according to the slope. So I'll duplicate this. Uh, and I'll just call it CRT. Mm, or, or I could just say C movement speed. And then... Uh, God damn it. <laughs> I'm struggling here. The menus, they're getting to me. Rename. Movement speed CRT. There we go. And I just drag and drop it that in here. Then back in Blender, we need to export this bad boy, right? <clears throat> so let's figure out how can we export it. Uh, first of all, I'll just select everything. Let's just make it make make it fine as as what it was. Uh, save this first. Swap out the meshes, but reuse the blueprint. I can't swap out just the meshes uh, because the skeleton is different. So, you know. Also, the animations are different. Um, that would be retargeting. So now I need to FBX export. And let's just make um, new folder to Unreal Engine Clean because it's clean, right? And I'll just call it CR CRT. First, we just export the skeleton. So form CRT form dot FBX. And I do have a preset already set up here, but just, you know, let's do some teaching. So first you export the form and then you export the animations separate, separately from the form, right? So my preset for Unreal Engine 5 form export is I don't export empties, cameras or lamps. I have these unticked. Then I apply the units. I use space transform. Um, I should apply transformations, but for some reason I'm not doing that, and don't, don't ask me why. Uh, for smoothing to work, you, the smoothing needs to be not normals only, but face. Um, we again apply modifiers. For armature, uh, we don't add leaf bones, we only use the form bones. And we don't bake animations, because here we're just exporting the form, the, the geometry, right? So then I just hit F export FBX and we are good to go. Then back in here under CRT, um, let's import it. So I need to open this up, desktop, uh, CRT, uh, exports, clean. There we go. That's our 10 megabyte character model. I just drag and drop it in into my folder and in Unreal Engine, it opens up this question right here. Um, make sure that import animation is unticked. Everything else here is absolutely fine. 
question mark? Yes, it seems fine. So these settings, import. It's gonna wait, uh, think about it for a little bit. I think it's also generating a model, uh, sorry, a material, which is nice. Because, you know, it, in Blender, I have a material setup. We'll check out the material as well. While it's doing that, um, can you do similar things in blueprints as Grasshopper or are they fundamentally different? Um, Grasshopper is more geometry oriented, uh, while Unreal is more uh, behavior oriented. But so it, it's hard with the blueprints to change geometry at a fundamental level, meaning move vertices of a mesh each vertice individually offset uh, each face to create a frame that's hard to do but if you want to um, like create arrays of things and um, how do I explain this so unreal blueprints are more dynamic Right, they're more dynamics based of how geometries interact, how geometries get copied, what happens after what action, and so on. While in uh, Grasshopper, you're more dealing with uh, vertices and moving them around. Right, Grasshopper is also a visual programming language. All right, so our materials didn't transfer at all which is yikes um and our crt form is okay that transferred and it seems like oh that looks just bad just straight up bad okay we will need to fix this uh we will need to fix this but before we work on this let's see what what imported and what not we have a physics asset all right okay so at least that that works how can i grab it i, I don't remember how can i grab it is there like a control alt shift middle mouse button right click no control shift that's a rotation um oh it's it's like ragdoll physics All right uh i i actually want to unreal engine 5 um Physics Asset Grab. Uh, grab component at location. <clears throat> uh, no, 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 no. I just want like a quick tutorial how to simulate. Um, all right, does this mean I can just kind of yoink it? Nope, 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 nope. We don't, okay. We don't, we don't play with this. <laughs> we don't play this. We just know that the physics, uh, portion of this works just fine and we leave it be. Okay. Now for our materials, I do have materials somewhere here, CRT. Textures? No. CRT. Uh, exports. Substance Painter? No. From Blender? No. Oh, no. Texture set. Texture set, of course. Of course. There we go. This, this one. I'll create a new folder. Call it uh, CRT... <clears throat> material 
or just uh, just materials or textures textures and we are dealing with udems meaning that it uses more than one texture for like the color and the normal and everything else uh, so we will need to only select the first ones I think if I remember correctly and we drag and drop them in like that and technically it should generate udems <clears throat> let's just see yes this is a udem this works nice then then under crt we mess around with the material until it also works so yeah you think i remember okay we delete these we will be using uh, right click texture sample like that um and for the texture here let's just choose uh, i guess it's called crt right yes base color slap that on for now let's just uh save Stop compiling, stop compiling, stop compiling. Okay, close that. Look at the model. Clean. Okay, good, 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 good. We will... That This means we will be able to use this. All right. Uh, let's go back and let's create a proper material then. So, uh, we will need two more texture samples. And this is very cool actually. Because the we are using like a very densely packed uh, texture uh, right here. And let me show it to you actually here. This. Does anyone know what this this is? Class? Come on. Answer. Only correct answers. Let's go. Okay. No one knows. This is ambient occlusion map and the roughness map and the metallic map all stacked into one image into separate channels of one image so the red is ambient occlusion blue red green blue green is roughness and blue is metallic and the way you deal with this is like it saves so much time, right? Uh, or so, so much, so many resources because it's just a single image that contains three different maps. So the way you deal with this is red. Well, we will deal with red a little bit later. <clears throat> or actually, no, there's the ambient occlusion. I'm stupid. Red goes into ambient occlusion. Green goes into, did I say roughness or metallic? I think it's roughness. And blue channel goes to metallic. That's that. Let's hit save and let's just check it out. Uh, there we go. Why are we flying so fast? It's shiny where it needs to be shiny. It's not shiny where it shouldn't be. Where, where it should be non-shiny. Non uh, how can I show you where it's not shiny? 
like here, right? All right. Uh, there's still no bump here, so it's it's too too clean. Let me show you. the bump that is our last one normal and i think it should uh straight up just use this normal if i remember correctly so we just use rgb as normal um we need to save this for this to update though Yeah, take care, Jason. Jason. Take care, Jason. There we go. Now we have normal. So this material is done. Let's just bring it, bring this in here. Uh, oh, that's anisotropic. Anisotropic. Uh, brush, brushed steel or aluminum. Looks fine. We will be working on the texture quite a bit still. But for what it is right now... Ooh, why is that wobbly? Anyway, for what it is not right now, I, I think this, this looks great. Right? Okay. So that's done. I'm happy. Close that. Now we need to... to, to, to uh, make our character... Let's switch the levels. Museum showcase. What the hell? Oh, that's twin motion. No. Um, maps. Level one. Yeah, we save. Um, let's switch. So that we can slap on our character in here. right um now for our blueprints we have our third person character and this third person character is going to be in viewport not the bunny rabbit but i will just switch it to crt and the material for crt is going to be uh material 001 i need to change the name of the material i'm gonna be so confused most of the time uh the capsule um like intersection not inter intersection like the bump collision 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 of the capsule is uh, too small but that's fine so we have ourselves a little a little doohickey here um I think there needs to be like character movement. Is, is character movement component? Okay. There needs to be somewhere here. Use animation blueprint none. Um, did I mess it up? Okay, let's undo. Wait, that that's that's very peculiar. Um, doo -doo -doo -doo. why? No, don't update. Oh no. So it basically says use animation blueprint. So I assume here I do need to use my CRT animation blueprint, right? It, it it makes sense, right? Compile. It does compile. Uh, save. Press play. Alright. Well, you know. Okay, so that, that works. That means we need to now work with the blueprint. 
of our CRT, which is here. Uh, so first of all, how do I change the model? Is it here? Yes, it's here. Um, oh no. So we actually... Yo, you boy. Yo, yo, yo. Retarget preview. Yeah, that's fine. Ah, okay, okay, okay. I see, I see. So what, what we will need to do is create a new one, I guess. Okay, that's fine. We, we, can, we can deal with that. We can deal with that. So I assume for this, right, I need to right click and create animation blueprint. Yep. Yep. Um, so let's just call it CRT animation blueprint. Okay. This one gets deleted. Uh, and replace with this one. This will replace any references on the pending deleted assets with... Okay. Yes, I am sure. Uh, save. Right, so now with this... Oh, blah, blah, blah. With this done, we have ourselves a little bit of a... of a thing to build up, right? Now I'm starting to think that there might be a faster way to do this. Maybe. Let's see the options. Select actors. No. Replace references. What does this do? Never mind. Audit assets. Oh, assign a skeleton. Right. Right, right, right. So so that means we are we are I am an idiot. All I need to do is just duplicate this CRT anim BP and I right click I replace or assign skeleton. I choose my CRT form skeleton, accept. Bada bing, bada boom. We have ourselves. A blueprint. Ah, oh, shit. Which one was it? I think it was this one. So this one disappears. And now. We will replace it with CRT Anim Blueprint. Okay. Critical failure. That's great. That's what I love to see. Don't need that anymore, though. Um, so we should be good to go. I think. Let's see our animation graph. Um, so as it starts... Oh yeah, I can show you how it's gonna look like. Oh yeah, it can't compile, huh? Because there is no run, climb, idle, or fall. Yep. So we need to... 
We need to fix all of those. Okay, for walk. Um, shit. Sequence. Browse, browse to content title. Oh, so it needs to also be an animation sequence. Okay. How do we do that? <laughs> How do we create an animation sequence? Can you please show how to add skin? In Unreal? Skin? You need to expand on this man. What, 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 what do you mean skin? Like the material? Mm. While you're... Expanding on that. Wait. Did I? I didn't import any animations. <laughs> All right. So back in Blender, we go file, export, FBX. But this time we use export animation preset which basically export uh, the only thing that changes is that bake animation gets turned on and these are the settings so copy them if you need to and i'll just rename this to crt anim export adding skin is weird uh like to a character this will haunt me <laughs> this will haunt me for a while <clears throat> okay so let's create a new folder call it animations and just slap in to unreal no that's the wrong one the clean one I assume it's going to import both of them. So we don't, we choose the skeleton, this one, right? But we import the animations, but we don't import the skeleton, which is going to be weird, but this is how you need to do it, I think. Or rather, you don't import the mesh, right? <clears throat> yeah, you don't import the mesh. Let's just see. Oh, don't minimize. Okay, we do have... Yes, yes, yes. We have standing and walking. It stands. And it walks. Sweet. Back to content browser. Uh, let's find our little animation blueprint right there. And here we don't use these, but rather... Can I just kind of... Yeah, there we go. CRT uh, stand. Compile. Okay, so this one works, and then climb and run. Both of these are just going to be walk and also walk. Compile. Okay, so that is fixed. Compile error. Uh, bunny fall. Okay, the, the, the falling is, is fine. Uh, we will fix that. Uh, so that is done. Now we go back. Walking is done. Jump start. That is just going to be for now the standing animation. That's fine. Go back. 
that's gonna be the standing animation because we didn't you know we don't care and the last one uh guess what this is gonna be i guess nothing because yep <laughs> i guess nothing because it's it's a freaking in between uh interpolation between the these two all right so it should compile now it doesn't uh sequence bunny for fall reference where where are you where are you so then you are here or are you here you are here no you're not one second we need to figure out where the hell the falling happens. So this one is fine. Okay, can I just go here? Oh, so it it was in the fall state. That was weird. Standing. Compile. That compiles perfectly. Swiveling like a boss. Right, let's play the freaking game. Um, why? It's like it's not, it's not continuous. But it is working. So all we will need to do, okay, let, let's check out why it's not continuous. Uh, that knee kind of pops in place too much. about here all right show me the standing So I think that that has something to do with this bone right here. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. We will we will work on this. I will work on this later. Um, but the, the the principle works. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. Okay. Um. We don't need this anymore. Maybe. We're gonna make a new one. But for now, I guess I can 
I can keep it. Alright, let's save this. And let's just look at our character. <clears throat> can I drop out? Yeah, that, that should be enough for me to get out of the structure. That's good. <clears throat> Close. Save. Um. What? Uh, asset game CRT CRT animation blueprint animation blueprint asset fail to save. Uh, cancel. Stop saying. Okay, we cancel. Can't save. Is linked to external private object. Unknown culprit. Unknown property. So what? I can't save you. But you are saved. Will you be screwed up once I once I open you up? That seems fine. So that seems okay. Hi, Adam. Hello. Uh, where's my... Curve, curve, curve. Hello. See movement speed. There we go. Change that to CRT. Okay, that should be... Yeah, I guess that should be that. Let's save. Uh, save all. Um... CRT animation blueprint. I don't even have that. Okay, okay, it's it's an old one. Uh, that's fine. That's fine. That's fine. That's fine. That's fine. That's the old one. So we don't uh, we don't save. We don't save. Okay, we're good. Uh, so that popping of the knee, we kind of need to fix it, I think, because it's a little bit annoying. Um, let's lock that so that we don't accidentally select it. Stand strip. Uh, that one gets... Can I delete you? Can I just delete? And can I... Remove? This cannot be removed. Okay, cool. Cool, 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 cool. And can these things get dragged around? Oh, we'll see. We'll see. Okay. So now... That acts weird. Okay. Uh, now we need to somehow fix that pop of the knee. Like there. Um, I think that it might be enough to just add frame 40. To just take the bone here and just kind of rotate a little bit forward. This one. A little bit like that. 
Does that? No, it still pops, huh? Okay, fine. Then frame 40. Um, I kind of then need to do GZ. Move it slightly up. That was not slightly. GZ. Oh, it, it goes in X, huh? Okay. Oh, that was slightly. Jesus Christ. And then rotate this. I don't know. This looks funky. It's like it's not really reaching. So how does this look like? How's the angle here? That's all zeroed out. All right. That's slightly bent though. So at least that's good. Um, Okay, something like that. Okay. I think we're on to something here. Uh, so we need to take this, 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 this. This whole shebang and this. And just duplicate it over here. Okay, uh, then the foot, why does it, no, stay, stay out. Mm. Out, 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 out. only came for your weird thumbnail well that means the thumbnail worked good reel them in reel them all in Okay. That seems like it's a little bit more like cyclical. Um can is there like a make cyclic? I don't remember uh like Something, something, key, clean channels, easing mode, no, transform, no, yeah, whatever. I uh, will figure figure it out later. All right, 
let's uh, let's play around a little bit with substance painter i think do a little bit of you know that sweet sweet substance painting I'll need to figure out what we do with with architectural part of the project. What do we How do we solve the aesthetics, you know, the, the architectural aesthetics? So the idea is, there's two things. First one is, I will collaborate with Albin, who's a friend who works with Unity. And we'll do something there, like a little game or like experience and it's probably going to be virtual reality and he's going to stream the and uh, sorry the unity portion of it probably i shouldn't talk for him um so that's gonna be vr experience with the character with the space <clears throat> some sort of a just walking about like a small story then we will do a iPhone, oh sorry, a phone app, or perhaps some sort of a filter for Instagram, which is going to be, you know, just, just like a side project. That's easy. And then I'm gonna work on the Unreal Engine, Unreal Engine part. And the question is, what do we do with Unreal Engine? So. My thoughts were multiplayer game. Would you like? Uh, would you guys like to jump in? To be able to jump in into a game with me and be able to talk over the microphone in some sort of a virtual space. I think that would be pretty cool, right? Just like a hangout spot. Would be kind of a nice addition to the Discord server that we have. I don't remember which one it is. I think it's this all right I need to remember how to work with this right right we have our Martin's cow butchery so we are creating s stickers i think like yeah let's create like one one sticker or a few maybe two so let's do some photoshop work cool vr friends well uh the vr would be single player experience right now because we are still you know we need to figure it out first but the multiplayer would be computer screen keyboard mouse microphone talking maybe proximity chat as well so you need to be pretty close to another character to be able to hear uh, the character the person behind the character and to be able to talk with the character maybe that would be pretty cool Something simple like throw a ball into a basket kind of thing. You're literally telling me to do physics simulations in the game and calling it simple. <laughs> what do you mean? <laughs> Jesus Christ. 
let's just say it like that rock paper scissors would take me like two months <laughs> to figure out just throw a ball into a basket nah man nah that's a little bit beyond my expertise right mm. oh one more thing finally we have photos of uh which i deleted well but i can show you it through here so you know like that i'm like part owner of very good architecture company right so finally we have a first photo set of architecture we have like plenty of interior designs that uh, we have already kind of photographed but finally the first building that was built that was realized we had we replaced the renders with the photos yay first building done not mine though not mine <laughs> my wife's um so here here here's the facade and so on i'm i'm, I'm very happy with this Mil middle of winter lithuania that kind of a stuff the model is mine though the model is mine so th this is done first one um this one is almost done well not almost it, it's it's close it's getting there this one uh did they, they're working on this one that this one is in progress so there's gonna be uh, I, I will yeah this one is also progressing quite nicely um i will be recording a few videos once once they will get built i'm happy um verygoodarchitecture.com mm. Is it your plans this year to work with Autodesk Maya and have you taken it into consideration as a program? I have worked with Maya uh, for three years, four years <clears throat> when I was studying but I didn't like it. <laughs> so I stopped using Maya and I went for Rhino slash Revit slash uh, Blender route instead of Maya. Mm, what am I doing here? I'm looking for the CRT project, the texture set, no, not the texture set, the textures, the stickers, and here's the Martin sticker. So we will be using the master PSD. Perfect. Let's just group this and call it Martin. And make another one. So who's the lucky, the lucky patron supporter? Um, can't see. Shane. Shane Bug Bugni. Okay. Okay, Shane, you're gonna get, you're gonna get a sticker as well. When, what kind of sticker, you might ask? I don't know. It needs to be black and white. <clears throat> so, if Shane had a robot, what would he use the CRT robot for? Right? Maybe he wouldn't use the whole robot. Maybe this was... Maybe only the... The screen was Shane's. Right? 
So maybe somewhere here we can have like a Shane sticker. Moonfago tried to find some videos to find a full workflow for architecture project in Arena 3D. Couldn't find any. Maybe something to consider for a new video series or something. Um, I have a speed run in this channel right here. That 11 hour speed run. That kind of shows the whole process of like at least the first stage of architectural design. Yeah, I I mean for for technical project I could do it, but we are using first of all I don't do technical projects in the office because I suck. <laughs> no, because well that's too, but mostly because I teach in the university and I don't have the time to actually partake in that um, and uh, people who do the technical projects in our office use Archicad so they migrate from Rhino into Archicad when they start using uh, when they, they start doing the technical projects um, yeah so Shane goes here um, is Shane a gamer? Shane is probably a gamer, right? So let's say what what's a what's a cool gamer font? Shane. Um, 150, something like that. Um, cool font for a gamer. <clears throat> Definitely not that. Oh, that might work. Not very gamery though. Oh, that that's that's good that's good <clears throat> okay Shane uh, then we need like a, like a controller just googling controllers so it doesn't really matter which one I guess Can I yoink out any one of these? Xbox? Yes, we can use Xbox. Oh, that's very small. Uh, let's change this up. Large. Yeah, that's good. That's good. I like that. Copy image. Paste image. Control T. Get that going okay let's select a subject so that gets selected uh, then let's control X control V to get rid of the background okay now I will need to most likely posterize this right because we're doing black and white thing here what programs or tutorials will you experiment with this year um, I want to dig deeper into VR I want to dig deeper into real-time rendering um, I think we will go for, you know, the, there 
are going to be grasshopper stuff going on for sure. Not sure what else. I'm not sure. Okay, can we amp up the contrast of this? Something like that. Hmm. Posterize. Uh, how is it that called? Half tone, not half tone. Oh, can we use half tone? Uh, I don't know how that works. Damn. Okay. Mm. Need to Google this. Grayscale half tone Photoshop. Bam. Shush. Mm hmm. Yeah, okay. Bitmap, yeah. Half tone. Oh. Okay. Nice. Uh, so let's do that. Let's do that. For this, we will need like a new one. New file. Uh, filter color half tone, and let's just keep it in here for a bit. Uh, color half tone. Uh, actually no. Um. How did he do it? Like, he changed from mode to grayscale. Uh, that that got flattened, right? Uh, we don't care. We, we flatten it. Discard color information. Yes, discard. Okay. Then we go for image, mode, bitmap, half tone. Yep. Uh, is there a preview? There's no preview. That's great. Uh, that looks nice, but I think we can go better. Uh, we can do better. So that's okay. So frequency needs to be less, right? 35. Angle was nice. Uh, something's off again one light per inch all right so that's how it works huh? but it's weird It's not perfectly accurate, but uh, like it's not what I actually want, but it's close enough that I pattern deter, diffusion deter, half tone screen. It does need to be half tone screen, right? Um, let's try 10 and let's try round. Yeah, that's... Sorry. Uh, I, I'm almost done. Almost done. Um, bitmap. Five. And round. Yeah, that's good. Okay, we bring this back in here. We do... Uh, multiply. Okay, that's good. That's how it's gonna look like. Don't worry about the red. It's just to test things out. Then, 
Uh, just give me the... Alpha, and I guess I can just... Delete the back backdrop backdrop sorry the backdrop and then hit it with a, with a stroke of 50 well not 50 20 I don't really I think it needs to be like like that and blending mode needs to be multipli multiplication okay do we like this I'm not sure I like this Okay, let's let's do it this way. Color white. So we hit it with white. We say that it's normal. No, never mind. It's it can't be normal. It needs to be multiplied. And also the white needs to be very small. So let's go back to normal. Like 5. Yeah, something like that. That's perfect. Um, back to multiply so five pixels remember remember five remember five remember five just just remember five can we add another stroke we can't we can't have another stroke uh, which means uh, go back to normal shit um, plan this out come on we, we can plan this out this is easy easy easy, easy. Uh, rasterize layer style no yes probably yes um, slap on another stroke but this time it's gonna be a big boy um, color black stroke 10 eh. or maybe yes uh, 15 yeah. yeah yeah 15 and then multiply 15 is too much, like 12, 12 is fine, 5, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> thanks, <laughs> helping out, okay, uh, so Shane has himself a little controller here, and Shane needs to be at the top, naturally, because Shane's a gamer, and gamers are at the top of the controller. What? Um, their competition as well. 200. Big, big letters, big letters. Um, that looks fine. Uh, we slap on the multiply. No, we don't. We don't. We don't. We need to flatten these two. Uh, before we do, we need this to be normal. Just to see if I'm I'm stupid or not. Uh, doesn't seem like I'm very stupid. Seems like it's this is gonna work out. Let's 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 rasterize the the text. I uh, distort. Make it go in. Could have used perspective for this. That's fine. Okay. That's perfect. Except for this part, which we just... Yoink. S can bulge out a little bit, that's okay. E cannot though. Looks too weird. Chain. Right. How does that look like? Oh. 
I don't mind this. This looks fine. Right? I think this looks fine. So we use it. So we use it. I am this is this is not stealing right <laughs> now when i think about it I, i'm technically no but i'm modifying the the image so much that like it 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 doesn't look anything like the original image um Any fair use lawyers in the chat? Who know? Who would know? If you modify and change purpose, it's not stealing? Okay, that's good then. Then I'm not stealing. And that is our little Shane. That we save. As a PNG. Sure, large file size. I'm okay with that. No, 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 no. That, that's that's it. That's it. I can't be held accountable. A, a person in the chat told me I could, so I did. That's it. Easy. Easy, easy, easy. Okay. Um... Where's our stencils? Or am I using it as a mask? No, I'm not. It's gonna be like a... Filters, masks, smart materials, brushes, alphas. It's probably gonna be an alpha, right? Okay, I'll just search. Uh, Shane. Um, that is very interesting. Because it's literally here, so how does it... Oh, it, because it's not Shane, it's Martin. Martin. Martin, we found why, but that's fine. Uh, da, da, da. You are a texture. Okay, so we need to import it as a texture. What did I do? Wait, I, I press something. Open currently query in a new tab. Ah, uh, import. Is it just through here? Import resources. Yes, it was. Uh, let's find it. Martin. There we go. Martin's here. Martin's cow butchery. I wanted to make a Venom-like transformation for my Venom game I'm working on. How could I do it? Uh, one second. We'll, we'll, we'll think about this. First of all, first question. What software are you using? Mm, Shane. And defined. What's... Oh, uh, we do texture. Import resources to project or library. Library should be fine. Let's f fish out chain. Do I just do that? Um, what is this though? Normal, roughness, metallic, or base color. Can I see base color? I indeed can. So Shane is a sticker. Goes into the sticker pile. Together with the rest of the stickers. Um, needs to be rotated though. Unreal Engine 5, Blender, Mixamo, and Sketchfab for science. Okay. Uh, let's... 
one second i'm i'm gonna figure out chain and then we will we will talk about venom mm -hmm. can you be smaller oh no 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 not like that like that Maybe here. Oh, you got to go. Uh, okay. Uh, next time, when 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 you when you'll catch me next time, uh, I I will answer that. Yeah. See ya, man. See ya. Hmm. Will we fit? Can we fit Shane in there? Mm, so close. Or actually, maybe that would be pretty cool. Uh, we do need the depth. Uh, the depth, depth, depth. I don't remember where, where it's controlled. Is it just uh, scale? Is it just here? No. Do I select the frame? Anyone remembers? What am I working on? Um, I'm now currently tattooing my robot. Basically. And I forgot service tool. Is that it? No, that's like a positioning. But if I press, there needs to be like a depth. Oh, there we go. Project depth. There we go. Okay. So it goes, 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 goes. So we could have it like that for a game. It's going to be for a game. But I don't really like the bend. Also, it's a little bit too big, isn't it? Yeah, we're still we're still getting the resolution here. Saving. Yeah, it's for a game. Um we're we're going to do like a multiplayer game eventually. I think we're fine with this. Well, we're kind of fine with this, I think. Um, maybe. Or should it go here? Maybe it should go there. Let Let's see. Uh, what if we bring bring it he over here? Oh yeah, that's a much nicer place for a sticker. What's the background story? There's none. I was bored, so I started modeling a CRT monitor, then I created the body for it, and then decided, you know what, this could be a video game character, so I decided to make a video game. And then I said, you know what would be even better if the video game could have mul like multiplayer, like everyone could join in. So I decided to make a multiplayer video game. Okay, Shane, your sticker is too good right now. 
uh, to clean. So let's fix that. Add a black mask. Uh, that was a mistake. Let's clear the mask. Or, 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 or remove the mask. And let's add white mask. And then with our trusted brush, let's find like scratch. Uh, stripes damaged. Let's try this. Mm, maybe. What's the what's the key to yeah control? Mm. Maybe I can hit it here, uh, even smaller, hit it here. Mm, don't like that. Maybe th these ones? Yeah, yeah, these ones are better. So scratchy, scratchy. Like that. And then you will have more scratches here. So which part tends to scratch up the most. I guess it's here, right? Hit it like that, and then let's... Bam. Mm. No, maybe not. Uh, how do you rotate a brush? Hello, welcome. Dynamic stroke, hardness, shape, invert... Um, yum, 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 yum. How do you rotate a brush? I guess it's time to... To think. Anyone knows? Rotate the brush. Substance. Control left mouse button. Push pull. There we go. Bam. Come. I think that's hmm. that better? That feels like it's better. Okay, <clears throat> there we go. Shane has his own little. What's the word? Do you know GS or Python? I do not. I do not know a single programming language. I have been using C++... C Sharp. C Sharp. I've been using C Sharp for a little bit. And I've been using... Um, the other one I guess now we have to I've, I've been using uh, processing for a little bit and I hated absolutely hated coding with both of them and decided that I'm not gonna be a nerd and I'm not gonna not, not gonna code so yeah so I'm not coding no nope 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 New sticker. Let's let's do one more sticker and then we'll continue with uh, with the texturing and the, like we'll do more broad strokes, like fingerprints, for instance. We we still haven't added any fring that fingerprints. That's that's gonna be important to add. I might say so myself. Also, emissive maps. We need to add an emissive map 
so that the screen shines. Is there an emissive map in... I will figure it out. Right. Um, now I'm fishing out. Thanks for the answer. That's, that was a rant. That was not an answer. So I need to fish out... What do I need? My top three supporter. Alexander. Alex. Okay, Alex. <clears throat> what? Why is Rhino open? Go away, Rhino. Okay, Alex. You're gonna be... Alex, like Alexandria, like the library, but also like knowledge, like hidden knowledge, lost knowledge, uh, Illuminati, Illuminati, pyramids, Illuminati. Uh, Illuminati conspiracies. Give me like um uh, give me like a pyramid first of all mm. we could do a very clean graphics one. Okay, um, Illuminati, so it's basically like a triangle with an eye in it. Okay. And a circle, we can also do a circle. Yeah, circular things will be cool. So let's do that, maybe? Yeah, let's do that. So first of all, um, we are gonna create a folder. Alex. Alex, Alex, Alex. And here in that folder, we're going to create an ellipse. Bam. And that ellipse will have a stroke that is a fill. No, it's gonna have a stroke, <clears throat> not dashed. And that stroke is gonna be a thick boy. Even thicker. I can go for something like this. All right then we can do has ever uh, by the way has everyone seen the new video that dropped yesterday i'm pretty proud of it and let's just position you I edited, edited it like crazy. Um, triangle. How do we draw a triangle? Mm, perfect. Okay. <clears throat> yeah, the Chad GPT one. And we do a 20 stroke here as well. That was not a twenty. Okay, uh, thirty, forty. The one where I used Chat GPT to. Uh, one second. Hmm. 
Can I just do this? Uh, where I use ChatGPT to drive? Where? Where my? God damn it! Where my 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 my? Uh, what should I say in the tutorial? Jesus Christ! Lo losing my mind here. Um, that. Hmm. That looks fine, but it could be thicker. Let's do 50. And the ellipse could be smaller. And let's do 50 as well. Like that. This one. Yeah, that looks okay, I think. Yeah, we, we, we can we can work with this. Just get it down a bit. What do you mean you can't use uh, OpenAI stuff in Iran? Is it like banned or something? That's weird. If it is um, now we need an eye and the eyeball I want the eye to be actually kind of realistic um, so can I just it's gonna look real weird but should be fine. Hmm. Or maybe we can do... Okay, I know. I know, I know, I know. I have an idea. So we do the full-on... Uh, clipboard, create, control V, control shift U, image. We already know this from the last time we used this. Yep. Uh, bitmap, half tone, yes. Yes, perfect. And then I will actually. Where's the size? Image. Something like that. So smaller. Filter. Uh, not filter. Bitmap. Yeah, that's that's good. That's good. That's what I want. Perfect. Just grab it all get it in here yep 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 um just drag it behind okay so now there's gonna be a little bit of work to do to make this kind of play play nice together so the first thing, the first thing that we need to do is actually rasterize these things. Uh, before we do that though, the triangle needs to be just slightly like 60. Yeah, like that. Perfect. And now we rasterize. Okay. Bring that back. Now we get rid of everything that's beyond the circle, like that. 
Okay. And now... I need to... Okay, uh, shit. Now we need to think. Hmm. So the triangle is a little bit too much here, right? Hello, welcome. No, it doesn't accept phone numbers from Iran. Okay. Mm. I wonder why. Well, I mean, there, there's plenty of reasons why. But I wonder where's the bar? Like, what's what's the um, what's the criteria? It might be on the local government side, though. Like they they just ban it. Um, anyway. It's almost as if I want to... Want to do this. I have an idea, okay. Go back, 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 back. There we go. Make a copy of this. And this is going to be triangle thin. And the thin triangle, uh, we will deal with this later. But for now, these again, rasterized. Um, everything is that's outside of this one gets deleted here. This one is pushed above here. Uh, like that. Oops. Nope. Like that. And now the triangle is back here but this one is thinner half half as thin so it looks like the yeah this is better <clears throat> the dots are eating away at the triangle so this is better Uh, Alex or Axel? I don't remember. Uh, Alex, Alex, Alex. All right. Let's give Alex a font. What's a font that Illuminati would use? Um... That might be it. Uh, this font will need to be black, I think. With a stroke as well. For readability. Okay, but I don't like the font, so let's go through this. No, 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 
No. Come on, give me give me something to to work with here. Hmm. Almost unreadable. Gothic is nice, but no. <laughs> I see my name on this uh, in this Photoshop. Is there something you want to tell me? Are you my top three Patreon supporter? If if so, then I want to tell you thank you. You helped out the channel quite a bit. Quite a bit indeed. Mm. And now we need to find you a font. That is both thick, but also traditional. You are not. Get out. Get out right now. <laughs> we can go for Japanese. Alex Sun. Um. Honestly, maybe Bell was the best. Because we can kind of hit it with a ball, then it's going to make it a little bit thicker. And this seems like it's it's going to gonna work out. Uh, let's make this into 250. 250. Mm -hmm. Yeah, okay. 250 is a little bit too much. 220. Yeah, that fits. Enjoy your dinner. Um, so that triangle, does that need like a little bit of, of love? Broke. Um, huh. Doesn't seem like it does anything. Or am I... Yeah, I'm not seeing anything being done here. Oh no, there is a, like a little stroke there, but it's not hitting the circle. I do need it to hit the circle, so the ellipse actually needs to go down. Like that. And this needs to become a multiply. And now we're getting that effect. Like a little bit of separation. And in terms of the amount, I think we double that. Yeah, time to check with the background. Uh, and by check with the background, I mean we flatten everything. We flatten, God damn it, come on. We flatten everything, merge layers, and we use multiply. Yeah. 
The layers are a little bit too in front. But at the same time, I kind of dig it. I kind of like it. I think we're, we're sticking with this. That's going to be our Alex. <clears throat> Another one. Mm-hmm. PNG. Save. Okay. And now we have three stamps here. In our master. Okay, that, that's enough. Uh that's enough of Photoshop. Let's do some uh some work with with this. Uh let's let's read some chat. What's up? What are we doing? What is the aim of this game? There is prob most likely there won't be an aim to the game. At least I don't think there will be. We will figure it out as w once we progress a little bit further with the development. I don't like uh, setting up... How do I say this? I like to figure things out as I am doing them and only have a planned route route planned route where it matters in in my eyes so for instance in this case what matters is it being multiplayer and everything is going to re revolve around that what's the end goal of the game the end goal is it being multiplayer, but there is no mechanics that I want to implement. Let's say it like that. Best way to get topo data using Grasshopper? Elk. For cities. If you're not in a city, Picking up a phone and calling the municipality, asking for proper drawings of the site. Mm, Alex, there we go. Something's off. Um, textures, textures, stickers. No, it's not off. Yeah, it's all good. Let's see. Mm. It's a uh, texture, it goes into the project and it, nope, it goes into the library and it gets imported. And then it goes on to, hmm. Where would Alex be placed? Maybe here. Yeah. But, um, Alex is very symmetrical. 
So it would make sense to place Alex right in the middle of something. Perhaps here or here. Maybe here. Or we can also do here. But that's like prime estate, you know. Um, okay, that's many, many areas where we can. Or here. Let's try there. Just because it might look kind of cool. Mm -hmm. You become a sticker, Alex. Whoa, that's some serious lag right there. Fillers are being calculated. Okay. Good to know. Um, rotate. Relax. Okay. Scale. What are you guys talking about? Shoulder? Nah. We're gonna give our robot a neck tattoo of Alex. Okay, let's see. don't like it. I think it might need to be like that for me to like it. Let's see. Uh, is that any better? That is better. But I don't think I like it. I don't think I do like it. I think we... We need to reposition this. Unfortunately. So Alex is gonna go on the shoulder. Someone said shoulder. Yeah, there you go. I'm 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 following think think of it this way. I'm following your suggestion. Streamer that listens to public opinion. Come. Got that. That Oop. Not that. Okay. And yeah, that's pretty good, I think. And now let's hit it with um, a mask. And just start really, really attacking it. Contr yeah. Um, is there like a smudge or something like that charcoal oh cracks cracks in the crystal no no uh cracks crystal cracks leather sandpaper scratches cracks cells nope yeah we can just use that Fine. 
that's a little bit too much. Yeah, that, I think that's fine. No, not the outside of the shoulder. Want to keep it clean. Okay. So that's, uh, let, let's just say that's done, kind of. Um, should it be a sticker though? Yeah. Yeah. It's nicer. It's less, you know, it pops less when it's a sticker. So we have three now. Eventually it's just gonna be covered in stickers. Because <laughs> I'm, I'm, I have 124.3 Patreon supporters, something like that. So I will not be adding all of them. But up to a certain point for sure. For sure. So at least like first 20, I think I'll add. Yeah, something like that. We'll see. Okay, so we have that. I kind of want to... Okay, I want to sign the ass here. Uh, let's, let's, uh, let's see. Metal paint, plastic paint, spray paint. Spray paint is white, right? Spray paint is white, right? Oh, it's, it's calculating. What the fuck? It takes so long. Nothing changed. Literally nothing changed. What? Oh, it was the arm. Where's the leg then? That's the arm. Is that the leg? That's the leg. So why didn't the leg... Ah, doesn't matter. So then that means we need to deal with plastic paint. That is gonna be... No, the plastic paint is the this this one right here. Okay, we don't deal with that. Metal paint. Mm. That's our plastic. Oh, th there is dust. It's just very... Very low accumulation, I guess. I guess, I guess, I guess. Dirt on the normal map. Dirt level. Contrast. Yeah, okay. Okay, sure. Uh, don't care. Uh, for plastic. Glossy. Let's draw. Let me get my trusted. Eh. Eh. You, you can't see it. Vacuum tablet. Do you guys use graphics tablets? Do you? Do you? They are great. If you don't, you should use vacuum tablets. Oh, pff, graphics tablets. I, I, I love using them. It's, I, I wish we did more stuff with the tablet though. Like Blender. Would you like to see like me doing Blender sculpting videos? Because I miss those. I miss doing those. But it seems like they don't attract a lot of um, viewers. Most likely because I really, really suck uh, at Blender sculpting. <laughs> that might be one of the reasons why. Sculpting videos, yes. Well, at least one. Uh, one person will watch them something yeah not that interested in blender sculpting yeah that's what I figured there's too many people who like CAD and architecture and other stuff that actually makes you money <laughs> compared to just blender sculpting 
Okay, uh, material, let's just look at the base color right now because uh, as I'm going to be drawing, it's going to be very messy if I just... Um, if I draw it properly. Um, how does this look like? Uh, why does this have no effect? Hello? Shit. Uh, do I really need to... What's below metal? It's iron shiny. So maybe I need to slap on... Okay, let's try here. Hmm. I kind of want to see... One second mask it's full of white oh i'm drawing in white i'm stupid i'm stupid 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 boy so we need to draw hmm How do I change color? Hello? It's bad also. Oh my god. Oh, there it is. There it is. There it is. There it is. We, 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 we found it. We found it. Okay, alpha. It's It shouldn't be scratchy. It should be like... So when you draw a mask, what do you... What do you use? Probably not that. Um, so what kind of alpha do you use? If, if you're drawing in scratches. I guess we can check out here. Under alpha. Are those smart alphas? No, those are smart masks. No, no, no. We just need alphas. Paint line... Uh, those, those won't help. Would be cool to see sculpting something architectural than 3D printing it. Okay. Maybe. I'll think about it. Mm, that's a smudge. Claws, no. Dots. Maybe we just do... Okay, what... What if I... What if I just say brush here? And then using that brush, I kind of just do brush paint grungy. Like that. Make it very small. Rotate it. Uh, like that rotate it and just try to draw a line okay how does that look like when you look at it as a material that creates a positive bump what the fuck? why is it a positive bump <clears throat> Music hits. Good music, isn't it? Okay. <clears throat> We're gonna be signing here. So let's try. Uh, what are we signing, though? Gadan, probably, right? 
So let's get in there. Hit it, hit it, hit it. G. Like that. Uh, and do that one though. Eh. Perfect. Don't worry, I'm 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 in control. Um Windows key. Nope. We don't need the Windows key. Stop that. Uh rotate. Oh, so here we can control the flow as well. Oh, that's good. And then here we can control the opacity. Um, now it doesn't rotate anymore, what the fuck? <coughs> Uh, the flow could be higher, the opacity could be higher. Undo. Careful. Okay. Like that, and then let's hit it with a hundred hundred here. Bam. Bam bam. Oops. Come. That's that's our our little signature here. Um, I should now fix a few things with it. For instance, here it needs to be a little bit less mess, messed up. Um, maybe G can be brought in a bit more. <coughs> Orchestral or Gothic? Why not both? Why not both? Okay. So now... Let's see where we can... See where we can start messing around with with the with the metal peeling and so on. Or 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 we can add 
fingerprints on top of this. That might also be cool. Because we have our glass here. Which we can technically... Can I just duplicate? And just make this... Um, the layer into... Like, do we have, like, dust or some, something like that? Or... Human skin? Probably not human skin, though. Leather. Leather. Nah, leather is kind of whatever. Oils. We need oils. And what is oily? <clears throat> okay, so oil is basically... Okay, let's tr just go for a plastic gloss. Um, it's kind of human skinny, so it's a little bit towards warm, like this beige color. It has... Pretty low roughness. Something like that. It's non-metallic. And I don't... Yeah, it doesn't have anything more than that. Naturally, it has low opacity, but we will need to work on that later. Uh, fingerprints... What's for dinner? Uh, today is my... Uh, I ate like a pig yesterday, or not, the day before yesterday. Day, so I'm not eating today. Day. Well, said that. How do you... Like, not oranges. Um. Oh, Jesus. What's the name? Small oranges. Mm. Mandarins? Mm. No. Mandarin, right? Mm. Are you fasting? I'm not fasting. I'm just... Getting fat. <laughs> just getting fat. Anyway. It's depressing. Um... I think we need to... For the fingerprints... We will... Hit it with a black... Okay, let's clear, clear... Mm. Mask... So it doesn't exist... And now we are going to draw. Right? So, and we draw by choosing... Splatter? What the fuck? No, not splatter. Um, okay, fingerprints, fingerprints, come on. Let's, let's find. Scratches... Not yet. Okay, I'm just gonna Google that. Fingerprint, there we go. Oh, it's a single one? That's weird. Bam. How does it work? Um... I don't like that. That's too... That's not good. Uh, not good enough. But there was like a... A better one. 
Was it here? Dust, dirt, uh, and rust, dirt, edge damage, um, rust, paint, old, subtle scratches. How would that look like? I mean, I mean, I don't, don't hate it. I don't hate it. It. But then, okay, what if we slap on fibers? Does it just keep adding? That's dirty. Will you just keep, yeah, it, it just keeps adding, right? Yeah. Okay. But that's that's good to know. That means we can do dirt spots like that. Um, the clouds need to chill out a little bit, though. So I'm thinking contrast position disorder position. Oh, and it goes all the way around, huh? Okay, that's... That's not bad. Um, contrast. But the tiling needs to be fixed, like two. Whoa. Um, that's one, that's five. Okay. Did you try ZBrush? Uh, no, actually I haven't. Haven't tried it. What did I do? Why did this just disappear suddenly? Hello? I clicked on something, didn't I? Yeah. Let's undo. Uh, okay, there we go. Now it should, should do it. <clears throat> so I played with this. So I think like 15%. Will 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 be fine. Yeah, and then we do some brushing, some actual brushing. And now it doesn't work anymore. That's great. Let's add, add paint. Yeah, now I can. Right, um, so a few fingerprints, I guess, uh, smaller though. Mm, that those are still too big. Those are too small, size like two. Yeah, yeah, that, that's good. Okay, now texture, oh, give me, yeah, that's the stuff. Oh, but I can't just, so can I just add it as a mask? Uh. 
Mm -hmm. Interesting. So you can't add it easily. At least from from what I see. Unless, 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 instead of alpha, I can use the the texture here. Yes, I can. Oh, bam. Okay, not bam. Bam. There we go. Nice, nice, nice. Okay. So we will be able to to use like fingerprints and so on. That's too big. Okay, that's dirty enough and everything else also needs a little bit a little coat of that. Okay, a bit more of that. Okay. We're good to go with that on that front. Um, with that being said, we oh, keep pressing that X button. This needs to chill out a bit. So mask editor, huh? So this can be 100% while this one drops down. Yeah, yeah. Okay. So something like that. And instead this drop drop this like 50% and this one definitely less like 10 okay it's not perfect um but for what it is i th Thing that's that's gonna work maybe less like five uh, seven It's very dirty. Okay, let's let's do five. Yeah. Okay. So that's fixed, kinda. Um. then can we can this not stop being expanded or will this kind of stay expanded or does it depend on which ah gotcha okay uh then we have spray paint glass okay spray paint what are we dealing with here stripes stripes oh that's the white paint we don't care plastic paint is just a fill layer which means that on top I can have like other crap so let me just add um, one more add paint add fill let's add paint and I can just draw right okay that's good 
Mm, no, that's not good. I, I want it to be, yeah, uh, let, let's remove the effect and rather add like a proper fill. Uh, never mind. Add a fill here. Never mind. Add a generator here. No. I. Okay, what is this? What are you? Add fill layer. Okay, 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 okay. Add fill layer. That goes in here. Nice. And now it's gonna be. So basically, I want like crappy plastic. Because over time it kind of yellows, right? So I'm just basically going to take this. Um, can I just do this though? Just take this and duplicate. There we go. Yellowed. Okay. Yeah, you can ask the question. Uh, any question now? That, that's fine. Um, and yellowed will be. Well, it will be yellowed. A little bit like that, right? while the fill well for now let's let's slap on um mask to it and then let's find or rather um clear 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 okay let's find uh, a, a smart mask. So we want edges to be blurred like that. Yep. So the question is, no, it needs to be inverted, right? Uh, so this mask... Or rather, this, this color needs to be a little bit brighter. Like that, while the original color, this one, is a little bit dark. Ooh. This may be a little bit too much, some might say. Hmm. Now, I liked it better how it was before, so I'm gonna undo it. Th this was better. So you are a professor. I'm not a professor. Uh, on top of doing YouTube videos, I'm a. My official job title is course coordinator slash lecturer. So I am not even a docent. I don't know, like the the the, the English term for it. Being a professor is hard like getting to that stage um i just want to know about the latest phd position in lth do you have any information about it is it specifically about fabrication or does it actually include an environmental design i think there's more than one um phd position right now in lth I think there's more than one. So you need to be a little bit more specific about what 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 you mean. 
fabrication, fabrication. Uh, that's gonna be one of uh, one 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 of the new program PhD positions. I don't really know much about it. Uh, I I have heard like just just in the hallways, you know, people talking about it, but I I don't don't know that much. You uploaded your docs. Oh, hope hope you get ac accepted. <laughs> But uh, sorry, man, I, I don't, uh, I tried to stay away as much as possible from uh, PhDs um, while I'm in, 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 in the university. And the only thing that I do with PhDs is tease them uh, wh when I walk through their kind of little, little place where they stay asking how's it going with their, with their PhDs. And then they become very angry. That's funny. Okay, let's add... I want one more layer. So I kind of want to add one more layer here. And that layer is going to be like dirt and crap. Uh, we can have like a pretty scarf wool. What the fuck? Steel rust. Yeah, perfect. Uh, this one. Uh, I'll just make it so. Okay, that that did it. Uh, don't need this then. Um, and this steel rust needs to have like a smart smart little mask here oh that's even like okay cool uh smart mask that's gonna be um drips water drips will this work let's wait for it to calculate what is your latest 3d print mm, that doesn't look that good but i'm gonna keep it and i'm gonna see if we can if we can salvage it because we can still do like rest on top of the drips so 3d print one second Here it is. Um, our little, our little CRT. Right, that's that's the newest, latest, latest three D print. Right. How does this look like then? This looks very dirty now. I think the dirtiness is too much. Let's do like 39%. Yeah. Something like that. That feels better. I have to paint it. I don't want to paint it. I like the piss yellow color. <laughs> okay.
Don't you like this yellow? Like your avatar? <laughs> I tease, I tease. Okay, let's see. How do you add text here? Is it possible? Stamp. No, that's that's clone stamp. Projection. Text. Brush. Um I basically want to add like stickers onto these <clears throat> onto here. I'm not sure how. What does this do? Okay, no, 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 delete, delete, delete. Um, bevel cross. Mm, okay, so here we can kind of slap on a few a few normal maps. Okay. I, I'm curious. I'm curious. Okay, so what if I just do this? It doesn't work. Okay, so that means we need... <laughs> uh. Yep, that's 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 my life right here. Uh, that means we need like a normal map here. Oh, that's a fill layer. Uh, cancel that. Cancel that. Uh, delete. Remove. Add filter. Add levels. Add paint. Add generator. Add color. Um, that's weird. So. There is an option for normal here. It doesn't really do much, does it? No, it absolutely doesn't. Oh, never mind. It's just very big. There it is. So it does. Okay. So we can make things bumpy, kinda manually. Do we need them bumpy though? For now, let's look. okay. Uh, PP time. I talked about the piss colors. Now I wanna pee. One second. Oh wait, uh, where's that? Let me show you at an ad. Enjoy. Nico, Nico, hi. I also want coffee, so um, yeah, enjoy another ad.
Hello. So, uh, where were we? Oh yeah, Nico Nico came. Hi. Hi, Nico Nico. All right, let's, 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 let's. Do we do grasshopper? Do we want to do grasshopper? No, let, let's add the text here and then we will do grasshopper. Okay. So let's, let's add the, like the text to the buttons on the buttons. Uh, for that, I do need like a CRT. Um, kind of buttons were there the power button okay we will need photoshop for this i assume and let's just create a new file <clears throat> 512 that that should be enough for buttons grayscale that's fine um i think we'll just download them honestly it's uh it's just gonna be faster if i if i do that literally like two lines so i don't think anyone's gonna care that that we're downloading things uh delete that save that don't talk to me right now i don't um i can't read the chat by the way because i i'm, I'm using both screens right now uh so give me like one minute and then we can continue chatting so textures new buttons uh, jpeg no png 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 uh, power let's just call it b power save that now let's uh what else is there like brightness Can I just say this? Mm. Well, okay, let's, let's just use this. Okay, that's great. Cool, cool, cool. Save image. be good enough rasterize buttons jpeg brightness up um, that's a PNG B brightness up 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 save uh hit this expand this fill this oh it doesn't fill okay it's fine uh i don't remember how you here it's gonna be fa faster than anything else. PNG, brightness down. Okay, save. And then the last one is gonna be, wait, how many do we have? We have like one, 
four and two, I think, right? One, five and two. Um, so this one can be like, um, emoticons. Mm. Encyclopedia Britannica. All right. Those are a little bit too small. Um, licensable. I'm just going through. Uh, that seems. No, that's still too, too small. So what I'm doing here is just going through different emotes. What games am I playing now? Uh, what games am I playing? Valorant? Hearthstone? I play a lot of Hearthstone. Do you guys want to play, want to watch me play Hearthstone? I'm down. <laughs> I'm, I'm down. So So What if this open image in new tab copy So up down power and then clipboard Mm. 512, 512, uh, RGB. Yeah, that, that's gonna work. That's gonna work. So that... This one's funny. I'm gonna get that. I'm gonna get... I love this. I'm gonna get that. And... Two more. Two more, two more. Um, perhaps this. One more. Last one. Let's go for a Cyclops. Got to represent the Cyclops community as well. <laughs> Hearthstone is great. Hearth Hearthstone, I, I really like Hearthstone. It's really good. Uh, let's just center all of these properly. Okay, make sure that they overlap nicely. Mm -hmm. Okay, last one. Okay, so all of them are overlapping. Then, 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 we do a little bit of deleting here and there. Um, that's awkward. Delete that. Um, it's not selecting properly. Ah, that that's why. Okay. If the music is too intense, let me know. I'll switch switch it. If it's too much. Mm. 
Yeah, I think it's too much. <clears throat> then let's slap it onto our computer as a button button one Button two. Button three. Yeah, yeah. it's gonna be <laughs> not too glorious of a workflow, but hey, someone's gotta do it. Button four. Uh, I think this is a little bit even more annoying. Let's do some chill, chill beats. Did I do five? Did, did I do the fifth one? I don't remember. No, I didn't. Okay. B5. So now let's... Uh, 5, I said. Let's add all of the buttons in to check if we're good to go. And then we'll do some grasshopper stuff. <clears throat> I think we'll do some grasshopper stuff. Um, do we add them as stickers? No, we should add them as buttons, right? So new folder, let's call it buttons. I'll just call it buttons. And yeah, import them. Nope. Yep. All of them open. There we go. Library. Oh, cancel. Uh, all of these need to be texture. Can I do for all of them? Yes. Import. Okay. Now the question is, can I do... Now I can only do it w one at a time, right? And they don't even rotate. Well, shift helps with the rotation at least. Scale, that's not scale, that's scale. Wait, uh, up, down, 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 scale more. What the fuck? Why can't I scale it? Uh, uh, I'm probably doing this wrong, right? Is it here? No. Do I do like, do I grab it somewhere here? Double click, shift, control, control scroll, alt scroll, control shift scroll. Okay, um, what, how is this called? Surface tool. Um, substance painter scale surface. 
shortcut. Uh, hide UI, desktop shortcuts and controls. What's the shortcut key for scale? Okay, what is the shortcut key for scale? Command T to transform, shift, option, click and drag. Command. I don't even have a command key. Shift, rotate environment. Okay, control scroll. Control scroll, alt scroll, shift scroll, shift drag, control drag, control right click. Okay, that doesn't do anything. I am not I've been working with Substance Painter for a while. I'm I'm I still am not sure if I like it per se. I think it's a little bit obnoxious in many aspects. Okay, let's just slap it on like that. So now I assume I can duplicate this, right? And then change the base color to this. And then just move it. Okay, at least that. That works. <clears throat> okay. Then duplicate this as well. Uh, there is no okay right click duplicate Boom. drag it here and b3 is the new color then right click duplicate drag it over here before okay now now we're cooking now we're cooking duplicate Drag B5. Okay. Um, we still keep going. Duplicate. That's the power button. And that one needs scaling again. It's fine though. Okay. And then we will have... What else do we have? Brightness, right? So... I think we will be duplicating this. Just dragging it here. Like that, and just using brightness. And now we can scale it up. You can see how close to the absolute, absolute limit we are in terms of the texture resolution that we're using. Duplicate. Get in here. And you are that. All right, now all of these buttons need to be in the button layer, like that. And the button layer is actually a multiplication layer, which makes these stickers kind of semi-transparent. And also inside, uh, last three will have lower opacity. Let's say around 64. Uh, maybe a bit more actually, 75. I said 70, oh, fine, 78 is okay as well. Uh, like that, like that, and last one here. 
<clears throat> okay. And then... create a black mask no we create a white mask but we draw like fingerprints and so on and, and, and crap like that on here There we go. So now it's a little bit like peeling off and so on. Have you get a flu again? No. No. But I was a smoker for... Uh, let's see. Started smoking in fifth grade. And I quit smoking three years ago now, something like that. And I'm 33. So almost 20 years. Around 19, 20 years, something like that. I was a smoker, so I'm going to cough for the rest of my life. <laughs> Unfortunately. It is what it is. Play stupid games, win stupid prizes, as they say. Mm -hmm. Okay. We'll get we'll get more stickers in here. Mm, what if this is not multiply but normal? Normal is a little bit too. What if it's actually normal with? Nah. Damn. The weather is super stormy today. I'm gonna go check out how, you know, what, what the hell is going on behind the, the window. Cause damn, damn, that, that's, that's a lot of sound. One second. Damn, that's an impressive storm that's happening. If I disconnect, I'm sorry. <laughs> but it's out of my hands. In Lund, can I get back my docs? What docs? What do you mean? The PhD docs or what? I, I'm, I don't know. Uh, I don't know if they hand those back. All right, I think that's that's fine. Okay, I think we're done for today, honestly. I think we're done. Because I was for this cold uh it's not cold it's just very very windy like really windy let's see uh 
Come on, tell me, tell me, tell me. It's going to reach 38 knots per 38 knots. Well, what's 38 knots? To kilometers per hour. Like 70 kilometers per hour. That's that's pretty rough, isn't it? Yikes. You're, you're joking? I, I wouldn't joke. I mean... The... The weather... The weather here is... Not the best. To say the least. Like Stockholm and so on. That That's... They, they have pretty good weather there. It's quite sunny most of the time and so on. Here, it's just constant rain. It's so depressing, honestly. Like, so depressing. But it is what it is. Okay, let's save this. Do, do I... Do I stream a bit more I don't want to work anymore I want to kind of chill out maybe we can do yeah let's play a game And more fun. I'm, I'm just gonna now be playing a game so you, you can focus on your studies instead. Because I'm done for today. Save that. Close that. Close that. Uh, yes, I would like to save my modifications to the project. Please and thank you. Close that. No, no, no. Close that. Close. So these are the logos that we did, not logos, stickers. Martin's Cow Butchery, Shane, <clears throat> and Alex. We'll keep keep going with these. Uh, so Valorant or, or Hearthstone. I'm gonna go for Hearthstone. Let's make this full full size. Sunpai. Get the master or Sunpai. <clears throat> Can you guys not be cringe? Stop being cringe. Don't, don't be cringe. Don't be cringe. Stop being cringe. You're being cringe. Don't. Don't. Why is this not loading? Hello? Don't be cringe. I will scream if this doesn't work because I want to play my game. That's fine. If it doesn't work, that that means I just get uh, get to leave earlier. Nope, <laughs> we're playing. We're playing. Let's do full screen capture. What the hell is this resolution, though? Mm, can we do this? Yep. All right. Whoop. 
I should flip the camera, right? No, that's fine. We, 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 can, we can stay here. We can stay here. No one's gonna understand what the hell is going on either way, so that's fine. We're playing Battlegrounds against eight other or seven other players. No boring academics here, just just cringe. Great, that's uh, yeah, cultivating the YouTube channel to to get the the cringe chat. Yes, winning. Uh, Gray main or shadow song. Let's go for. Uh, let's go for gray main. Um. What are the specs of your battle station? My battle station, just say computer. Say computer, just could have said computer, could have said PC, battle station. Your base of operations. Um, RTX 3080, not TI, just 3080. Uh, 48 gigabytes of RAM, which is a weird number, but it is what it is. I just added more RAM, basically. Um, 10th generation. Oh, yeah, we, we need to buy something. Get that. Get get that in here. Get, get the dragons going. It's gonna spit some dragons on our enemy's board. What dragons fire spit some fire on our enemy's board? Uh, what else? No, no, there's nothing fancy about my uh, motherfucker. He's gonna win. There's nothing fancy about my my computer. Well, the 3080 is is pretty fancy, I guess. Now, uh, Mark, hi. Hi, Mark. Hello, Mark. Hello. The stream is kind of ending, so I'm just chilling and interacting with the community. Uh, because when I'm, I'm thinking while modeling, I can't really talk. Talk that well. Not that I can talk now. Still pretty poor at English, but at least I can focus now in replying. So, 3080 is pretty good. I tried to run stable diffusion on my 1660 Ti and more like 30 minutes to render. Oh, yikes. That's a yikes. Also, that's a yikes was happening on the screen. Freaking Millhouse is... is that character is a beast early game, so there was no winning that. But now we have options. Now we have options. Um, I could refresh and but no. So we're gonna do a weird thing now where we empty our board we buy this do hickey here because he gets stats if you do a battle cry and this one does a battle cry so we buy this and buff this with the battle cry so he gets a double buff nice we should win next next round No, you you need to run stable diffusion like on a server, like the, the, there's or on like A one hundred or one thousand, whatever they're called, like those uh, Nvidia cars. Everything else is just too too weak. A, a, a game tutorial at some point, sure. Um, on the on the right, on the left, you see all of the characters that are currently playing the game. There's their health, right? The, the red bars are their health. Uh, you play in rounds. Each round you get uh, these, these gold pieces that you spend to buy characters here. From Bob, 
Bob is the tavern helper or whatever it's called, like bartender. So you buy minions from Bob and you put them on your board. And the person who has a better board wins that particular round. And it's kind of random what you get, uh, what you need, who you need to fight. So for instance, now I have six gold. I buy this dragon here. And this dragon, his special ability is that he can buff another dragon. And this is a dragon. So I'm just kind of from here to here, I'm buffing this. So now this has six attack and eight health. And I need to buy one more, like that. So now this one is pretty damn buffed. And you will see that now it's, it's like the combat round, where this guy has these two quill boar, and my dragon just killed one of them, and the, his quill boar killed my other dragon, right? So that's the basics. And um, since those two murlocs, these two guys, uh, you can see one star on them they kind of do one damage each because they are still alive and also since i'm on my tower tier two i do two damage so in total i did four damage to the uh, mutinous player here that's the basic gist of it um now we have a problem and the problem is called this guy is insane and I, Bob is not offering anything good in here. I could go for a double because if you get a triple, you get uh, like a golden minion, um, which is nice. Uh, so I could kind of fish for that. Yeah, let's do that. So I'm upgrading my tavern tier. tier. Since I upgraded it now, Next turn, he's going to give me like better minions, but this turn, I'm just gonna yeah, just take that, put that in here. So, for instance, he's playing pirates, and his special skill is that his pirates attack first, uh, like two minions from left and right attack first. So, he's going to fuck up my um, shield minion here, and he's also going to kind of hit hit one of these preemptively yeah you can see here like that screws me over yeah so i'm losing this for sure that's that's the tutorial intro 30 series is pretty good for ai but other gpu series from nvidia are good but overpriced in my opinion uh, hundreds of bucks for a small boost of for performance. Uh, yes and no. Mm. Yes and no. Uh, because like 30, uh, 40, 70 is more powerful than 30, 80 while requiring less energy in certain applications, of course. Mm. So it's I should probably do this so that you see the uh, the gold that I have. Yeah, it's like Magic the Gathering, right? Or Yu-Gi-Oh. If you grew up with that crap. I could do this, uh, just kind of giving attack for the dragons. Or I could give... A divine shield. Now let's give attack, I think. Or, uh, I'm stupid. We can give both because... Uh, nothing's good there. Um, forgot that I'm not leveling up this, this turn. Do you have a schedule for the streams? No, I do not. I do not. I just kind of... I find a moment in time when I have some free time, basically. And then I just click on the start streaming button. But uh, that is... Why do I keep losing? Oh my god. Okay, we need to stabilize here. 
that usually doesn't doesn't happen uh, that often, honestly. <sighs> really? Well, he's upgrading, so I'm gonna upgrade as well. I might need to. Okay, let's let's try this. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. I could take that. Or I could take that. These two would get plus one, plus one each. This one is like plus. No, this is better. Yeah, this is better. I could also take that and pray. Hmm. Okay, let's do it this way. I'll take that, lay it here, freeze, take that later, and try to get a uh, five drop. Hmm. And this one needs to hit this with a buff. We'll see if that happens. Probably not. Some of classmates watching your videos in class last week made me happy for. <laughs> oh, that's cute. Oh, I like it. I, I I like to hear that you know the videos are actually being watched by, watched by people. Even though the numbers say so, I don't associate a, like people behind the number. You know the. I keep losing. Stop. <laughs> I I keep uh, I I don't associate like a face of a person behind a number. But when I know, you know, when I hear stories like this, then it's it's easier for me to remember that it's you know, it's people. It's people. And we're back to playing this bad boy right here. So he's gonna clap us again. Okay, let's try. That's a little bit of a yikes. Let's see. Uh, that's not that bad, but still pretty bad. Mm. Freaking playing pirates. Okay, we can do that, but let's let's play this. Above that, sell that, play that, sell that, and get that in here like this. So I get hmm, this might be a little bit better. Might be. Yeah, we're going full dragons here. Which is, by the way, one of the weakest builds uh, in this patch. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, I was kind of forced into, <clears throat> into dragons. Use the force. I wish, I wish. Come on. Well, that's not too bad. I can... We can win this. Never mind. <laughs> Never... <laughs> Never mind. Oh, no. Oh, my God. Oh, no. All right. Top eight. I just lost. Yep. Just freaking lost. Yeah. Last place. I am going to play one more. Because that was... That hurt. <laughs> that, that hurt my soul. Let's play one more. I actually, like, I, I played this game ever since it came out. 
even before that, uh, I played this game in closed beta. Uh, beta? Beta? Closed beta. Um, and I even attended uh, like a competition or whatever it's called like that. Not online, but in, in person in an internet cafe back in Lithuania when I was like... I was still a student back then, I think. I even attended like a competition, which I didn't win. But I placed like 7th or 6th out of 20 something, which is which was still fine. Um, which one do we get? No. Well, maybe. Yeah, sure. Let's let's try. Hearthstone, never heard of it. It's uh, Blizzard. You probably have heard of Blizzard with all of the sexual misconduct allegations and, you know, not not, not just allegations, let's say it like that. Um, so yeah, it, it's by Blizzard. Well, what, what, what do you wait? What, what am I missing? Dragon Force, I guess. Mm, let's think. Let's think. What did you say about Dragon Force that I missed? Let me guess. Either a video game or a metal music band or a, some sort of a obscure cartoon of 1990s. It's just overshadowed by other games like Diablo. It is not. Um, to a certain extent it is, of course. Like World of Warcraft and, and, and stuff like that. Of na naturally, it, it gets overshadowed by those. Mm. But let's see. Um... I think it has a pretty healthy user base, honestly. Um, also, Diablo has just shit the bed ever since they came out with Diablo Immortal. I will still play Diablo 4, though. Um, but let's say Hearthstone uh, average daily users. Uh, bum, 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 bum. Yeah, there's like 5 million people over the course of 30 days. It's pretty healthy. You know, considering that there's like 8 of us playing here. It's fine. You can usually tell how good, or not how good, but um, hmm. Wait a second. This this might be good. So we do that. Now let's do economy. Um, so you can tell how healthy a game is by looking at the Twitch. Um, twitch.tv and looking at most popular games you know how, how many people are looking at the game that's a pretty good indication it, it's not 
end all be all metric um, but it's a pretty good indication of the overall interest of within the fan base of, of that particular game so hearthstone is always like top 10 you know within the top 10 oh i lie it's like top 10 top 15 it jumps around depending on what kind of streamers are online that at that moment um i think it's always what's what's popular these days uh let's see twitch browse league of legends valorant grand theft auto Escape from Tarkov, Dota 2, super popular, Fortnite. Okay, uh, Hearthstone is like top. That is 6, 7, 14. Okay, Hearthstone right now is top uh, uh, 17, 18, top 17, with 20,000 viewers, which is respectable. I mean, 20,000. That's not bad. COD is not uh, not that popular. You would be surprised. But it's not that popular. Okay, let's get this in here. Like that. Call of Duty, uh, let's see. Oh, okay. Warzone. Yeah, yeah, forgot about Call of Duty Warzone. 62,000 viewers. Counter-Strike, though, 62,000 viewers as well. So, Call of Duty is as popular as, as Counter-Strike. Which is interesting. Dragon Force is an iconic power metal band. Good. <laughs> yeah, they sound like it. <laughs> they sound like it. Um. So this is a little bit awkward. I kind of want to level again. Um. I'm gonna get clapped if I level. But I think. I think we go for it. We level. We freeze. We. We we we. Give this some um, some health, and then call it a day. I like this game. Yeah, this game mode is much better than the regular Hearthstone game mode, because regular Hearthstone is you play one against one. You know, like Yu-Gi-Oh, uh, Blue Eyes White Dragon bullshit. Um, which is, uh, it, first of all, there's a lot of downtime because you wait for the other idiot on, you know, on the other end of the screen to actually make up his mind on what to do. While here, you're almost all the time uh, thinking and doing something. Um, and it's much more chill, right? Because you, you're able to strategize a little bit better here, I think. Am I really? Okay, at least I'm not going to be top 8. There's one guy dead already. All right. How greedy are we? Because technically we could level again. Technically we could level again. And then get a really sweet drop. But I think we're too weak. So instead we're going to do this. That. Now we get triple. Triple gives us a golden card. We push down the golden card. Golden card gives us another card, which basically, um, if we use this, we get a minion from a higher tier in than in which we are at right now. 
So if I use this, we're at tier 4, we get a tier 5 minion to choose from. Um, Divine Shield. That's pretty good. Double ba Battle Cries is insane. I don't have any Battle Cries here though. Like the winning play would be to do this though. Leroy is great, very late game, but not right now. Um, yeah, let's go Bran. Screw it. Sell that. Roll. Um, that's a lot of stats. I'm, I'm gonna go for it. That that. I'll just give every everything like a shield. Okay, let's see. Let's see it. Let's see it. Okay, that's fine. We're still good. Okay, now... Yes, yes, good, good. And snipe, snipe. No. We can still win, though. Uh, not anymore. We can tie. We're tying, okay. That's good. So at least the bleeding stopped. And now I can get another triple. I am not gonna get it this time though. Or maybe. Sell for one extra gold. I need to sell three to get a triple. I could. I really could. Want to. But I probably shouldn't. No, wait. This sells for more. This sells for one extra gold. So this sells for two. So I get five. I get six. Okay, let's go for this. One, two. Get that. Double buff. Get that. Hell yeah. Double buff again. Get that. Uh, yeah. We're going for this. And then this gets taunt. Okay, so now the plan is to get... The plan is to get a lot of battle cries because with every... Uh, with every battle cry... With, battle cry is basically something happens when you play a minion. You know, that, that minion. Like this. Battle cry. Give a minion plus 12 health. Right? That's a battle cry. So now the synergy is that this guy gives plus 1 plus 1 every time you play a battle cry. And this one says your battle cries trigger twice per turn. So like the synergy between these two is insane. Um... The problem is that I'm playing the top one player here. Um, so that might not be good. I am going to take the two drakes here. But he is leveling up. So I'm okay with that. We're getting those. Um, Okay, this needs to go, unfortunately. That's fine, though. Uh, we take that. We sell that. See? Everything gets now um, leveled up. Uh, that's a battle cry, but I can't use it now. Again, level up. Okay, now, now we're, we're starting to get there. Too much math for a fun game. Once you get the hang of it, it's actually... Like right now I'm explaining what, you know, the thought process. Once once you get the hang of it, it's not that bad. Sometimes you do need to kind of sit down and just... Okay, 
5 plus 2 equals 7 minus 3 equals 4. You know, do that kind of math, but uh, it's not nothing that disgusting. Okay, let's see. I think we win this. Yeah, we win this. Nice. Easy. Get wrecked. A freaking cat. And also we do a crap ton of damage to the cat, like 21, which is insane. That's good. Now the cat from top 1 has, has fallen to the last place. Well, not the last, because there's two guys that are all already dead. Oh, crap. I can triple this. Um, do we triple this? We do. We do. So I get that. Bam. We get that. Bam. Um, that's pretty nice. Set minions health to attack and health to 15. Uh, so we can use this to... On Bran, probably. Because <clears throat> this one will be sold eventually. Uh, so I'm going to use it on Bran. Okay. Then this. That should be that. Um, now we have a little bit of a problem. There's no battle cries here, but there is a add a gold coin to your hand death rattle. So when this Mantid Queen is pretty strong. It is, but it's very strong when you have uh, many different types of, of of minions. I am again, for some reason I'm. Well, let's do it this way. Uh, for some reason I'm playing freaking dragons this two two games in a row. Every round they regain full health again. Exactly. Yes. Yes, they do. So they don't die. Uh, it's just that you, you play out the battle and then you're back to your original board as it was uh, before the battle began and you upgrade, you know, your board. Oh yeah, now we're crushing. So that guy is left with one health. Okay. Uh, what else? That's a good battle cry. I don't care about those. That one, uh, that guy is also playing dragons, so we might get wrecked because he's uh, actually maybe we're fine. We didn't get a very important, <clears throat> a very very important uh, minion yet. Uh, we might get it eventually. Uh, it's not good. Okay. Let's do it this way, like that. Like that. Gold coin. All right. Do the characters have backstory lores? All of the characters are from World of Warcraft. Or Warcraft. Like it's 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 uh all of these characters are you know their lord uh, uh, George the Fated, uh, the Seraph and Lee Murgleton, uh, Overlord Saurfang, um Queen Ashara is like a boss in, I think Ashara is a boss in, in World of Warcraft. Um, Keltuzad's kitty is like, Keltuzad is a, also a boss in, wait, unfreeze. Also a boss in, in uh, uh, World of Warcraft. 
and so on, right? So all of these characters, there's plenty in Hearthstone. All of them are. Also the the mobs here as well, like the minions are from World of Warcraft or Warcraft series. So like the Kalagos is like a, one of the big big boy dragons. Oh, we're losing this. Maybe. Yeah, we're losing it a little bit. It's not not too bad. Okay, so we we get two more of these. Um, I think we're okay with that. We, we okay, we can use this. So I'm gonna do that, and then we do that. Um, do we do a battle cry? Fifteen, fifteen. On that, sure. Let's buff it. Um, I can do this, and then roll and pray. I guess. Ooh, that. Ooh, that's sexy. Now we just need to not die from the cat. I don't think the cat will kill us. The cat is... Oh, well, actually, the cat is at... Uh, uh, at at, at uh, a higher tavern tier than us, so it might. We'll see how strong the cat got, because the cat... You can see that the passive ability of the cat is when a player dies, discover a minion from their warband. So basically the cat steals the minions from players that died for free. Uh, so late game, the cat is insane and we are reaching the late game. So it might clap us right here. We'll see. Uh, that's bad. Oh, that's very bad. Oh no. Uh, just don't. Okay, lose, but don't lose too bad. Okay. Ah, uh, shit. Okay, foo. That, that's fine. That's fine. We, we still have like. Yeah, I was working on Bunny... Well, not Bunny Mac. I was working on the... What's the name? Uh, CRT. Okay, let's do this. One, two. Uh, get that out of here. Let's do that. One, two. Uh, then get this. Triple this get an achievement apparently um get that okay so now we need to be fast about this um like that <clears throat> this is what i need that's good uh nothing here okay that's good So, 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 buy, play, so, next, battle cry, next, uh, magnetize to max and demons, can't use that, sell, reborn, perfect, um, oh shit, these are max, I'm stupid, okay, um, shit, Time is running out, so get that, this upgrade, uh, fuck, upgrade that, get Nadina in here, uh, after this, N Nadina, okay, this should be fine, we should, we should, we should be okay, we'll see though.
Uh, one problem is that we only had one uh, Caligos. Usually you need two to get to uh, top three. Uh, so we'll see. This might still be enough. Yeah, that was enough. Okay, that's good. Work hard and now I play hard. Hell yeah. Okay. Oh yeah, top three. Yay, top three. Sweet, sweet. Okay. Now. Now we're in trouble uh, because we need... Okay. Let's do that. Double upgrade this. Uh, get the battle cry. Get these two out. One, two. Wind Fury and Reborn. Okay, so this gets a Reborn and it gets a Wind Fury as well. That's nice. Um, that's a battle cry. That's a battle cry. Great. One. Two. Um. Yeah, why not? Let let's try this this method here. So this does double hit. This does single hit. Then this upgrades. These two might die in the process. That means the snake needs to be last because it will spit out a few. Quite a few. Yeah, something like that. A few minions. What? I just stopped in the middle of the sentence. <laughs> the snake will spit out a few. Yeah, see? So this guy has double Caligos. So his scaling was better. But I'm a better player, so that's why I win. Look, bam! Everything gets a divine shield. I just destroy him now. Bam! Easy. Top two. Wait, the cat died? Who killed the cat? Oh no. Who managed to kill the cat? A player who plays undead. Okay. Alright. Mm. Well, shit. I'm not that lucky. I'm really not lucky. Okay, I'm lucky. I'm very lucky. Never mind, I'm super lucky. So we sell that, we get a little bit of an upgrade here. Uh, we get two of these, bam, bam, sell that. Well, that's not great. Wished that there, there was better. Okay. So I guess I need to magnetize like that. All right, double Nadina, that's good. Mm -hmm. And I can't afford to sell anything from here. So I will just roll and do something like that. Okay. Show what? Show me. Show me what you've got. Yeah, that player is insane. Like the, 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 the board that that player has is insane. The question is, are we better? Probably not. 
we're close to being better. Come on. Damn it. God damn it. No, my top one spot. No. Unlucky. Yeah, yeah, that, that was all luck. All luck on the other player's part. Yep. That's fine. We got we got some some levels, some some ranking, some some bling in here. And so we're we're good. We're good. I feel rejuvenated. Shall we do a little bit of grasshopping? And by a little bit of grasshopping, I mean... I already have a script. I will show you the script. I think we should. Let me just fish out. Okay. Here we go. Let me just fish out where I actually saved the script. Um, is it in my other computer? Oh no. Um, okay, fine. I'll go and fish, fish out my, my grasshopper scripts. Back with a lap. All right, let's see. Uh, yeah. One second, I need to, I, I did this while at school, so I need to send it over to myself. Do you guys also use email to just send yourself files and that's how you store them? Because I sure do. Um, yeah, these two. Please. Send. Okay, good. So now we should bear with me like 10 seconds ish kind of there we go UI open UI open uh, curve preview yeah let's download and gone okay close There we go. <clears throat> so, I have... Where is chat? You use Telegram? Okay. Alright. Okay, alright. Alright. Uh... Google Drive to Discord accounts. I didn't miss anything. Um, so, 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 so. Let's let's just make this a little bit prettier. Um, bam. Do you know what this is? Yep. What's the script? The script is our CRT project yet again we're gonna be 
still working on the CRT project. So we have ourselves a little sphere and that sphere gets a few points. Well, a few points right here. I lied, they're right here. And then those points are rotated and they're projected onto the seaplane. And we're looking at everything from the top, right? And then we draw lines. We draw lines to those points. And those lines are drawn thick, like that. Yeah. And then we also draw a circle in the middle. And we also, well, we have a little bit of a cluster situation going on here. Don't worry about it. But that cluster draws text on each of the points. Yep. And also creates a hatch. So if I zoom in here, you'll see there's a hatch. There's the text. And all of it is kind of doing its own little thing here. If I take this slider and start moving it. We get this animation. Whoa, 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 whoa. Right? If I look at it in perspective view, you will see that this is all flat. Right? So that's script number one, part number one. Part number two is, let's hide that, this. These two rings. That's all they do. Right? Two rings. Part number three is... Like a loading screen type of a situation. Mm, yeah, that, that should be all. This is, by the way, not text. It's just... <laughs> It, it doesn't need to be text, right? So it's wah wah. No, I'm, I'm animating uh, the, not the screen, but like stuff around our CRT project. So let's actually implement this into Blender. Yeah, yeah. We're, we're going the whole, the, the, the full, Full blast with this right so I'm going to choose my camera here and I'll say uh, let's let's start with 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 uh, sure let's start with this one let me create a new yeah let's let's hit animate on that slider browse and let's just Uh, but why lol just use blender um can i use blender i can use blender i couldn't do certain things with blender that easily i i couldn't do yeah like cert certain things in blender i couldn't do uh what i did here easily because all of this like all of these three scripts they took me like an hour to do in in blender it would be like a day so it's, it's better for me to just do it here okay uh stuff uh other fun 3d crt uh textures and here i need to create a new folder call it UI and in it I need to create a new folder and call it um, loading I guess loading I don't know 
we'll figure it out loading it's okay uh that all is good that is good now i need to double check because it's all on my work computer right so i need to figure out um for instance the size of the textures right that 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 i worked on um how do you check a size of a new yeah it's 4k for 4096 should it be 4k though feels like 4k is too much oh but we can yeah we can make it smaller later yeah yeah so we do 4k now yeah uh, 4096 Four zero nine six. Six hundred? How many frames do we do? How aggressive do we want the do we want this to be? Pretty aggressive, I guess. Um so if we're at 30 frames per second, 600 is 20 seconds. That's very slow. But it's better to have more than less, I guess. Now let's do 300. Oh, but it does it two times. So we do 600. Okay, let's do 600. And yeah, that, I think that's, that's that. Hit OK. And it's just going to spit out every single frame for me. That's cool. That's good. Uh, while he's doing that, let's load up Premiere. Create a new project. Mm. Let's go there through the desktop. On 3D, where's my CRT? There we go. Um, I should, yeah, I should have it like that. Um, textures, UI, rather here. UI. Okay, so we'll have all of these. And I guess we can just simply... Create a sequence right now. With just the first image. Yeah, let's do it. Because I'll need to change a few things here. Okay. Uh, sequence settings. Oh, actually, uh, all of it is correct. It's fine. Yeah, yeah, we use it. We will use it. Designers Republic. Okay, I need to Google Designers Republic. Let's let's go. Um, <laughs> Jesus Christ, that it's like a flashbang. Are you kidding me? Is this like a an actual website or is this like a shit post uh, of an of a website? Okay, school of art. I feel like I'm on an acid trip. Like I need... I need my shades for this.
Also, it's um. Jesus Christ! Come on. Uh. No, no. Wait, did they do Apex Twin stuff? I can't go back. I need to keep... Uh, this is the worst website I've ever seen. Yeah, there we go. Apex Twin. Okay, what did they do? Come to daddy. This is like TikTok. That, this is why I don't use TikTok. It's too intense for me. It's too fast. I'm a boomer. I don't... Where's the pause button? I want to get out. Stop. Stop. No. I, I'm closing this. No, Jesus Christ. That, that was... Like, I need to lay, lay down after that. All right, um, back to, yeah, th that's done. That's nice. That's nice. Uh, let's, let's import it, I guess. Um, YouTube, not YouTube, CRT. Textures, UI. As a sequence, open it up. No, that's that's wrong. That's correct. 30 frames per second. Let's play it. Exactly what I want to see. Except that it's for some reason very small. Should it be so small? Perhaps it should. Mm, we're kind of not using a, a lot by doing it this way. Let me double check if if here I also yeah no but that's weird it's like we're zoomed out I can do like uh, 120 or 150 okay uh, 160. Uh, 175 yeah 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 that, that that's gonna be fine and let's just export it if the stream crashes uh, it's been nice knowing yeah because I mean w exports always hit mm. no we're not doing 4k I'm so stupid why am I so stupid or actually we are no we are doing 4k I'm not stupid. I'm pretty smart, actually. But we do need to match the source. And then... And then do a custom... Um, four zero nine six divided by 2 is 2048. There we go. That's our resolution of export. And we just spit it out. I don't know where we're saving this. I have a clue though. Um, that's gonna be under uh, record old videos. Don't look at these. That's that's mine. Mine. Don't not, don't look. Don't look. Right. They were here. Um, and then we just get them in come on textures ui i'm, I'm just gonna put it in here loading okay so we have like the proof of concept while we will be figuring out the blender stuff we can do the grasshopper the other part of grasshopper here 
Uh, let's do the simple ones, these guys. Uh, animate. Do you guys do animations, by the way, with Grasshopper? I do. They're fun. They're fun to do. You can set it up pretty nicely as well, these days. Because you can kind of drive materials with Grasshopper. At least in Rhino 8. Stop being cringe. Not Senpai. Don't. Um, you are loading. This one is going to be discs. Um, okay. 300. Yeah, should be fine. Okay. So it's going to do its thing while it's doing its thing. Now here, let's go to, let's open up our CRT mod. There we go. Um, we go to object mode and here, 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 here. Um, let's create, let's actually hide our Our robot for a second and let's just create a plane let's just create a plane and give it a uh, material bam call it loading mat material loading material uh, go to shading and try to figure out how to make this nice so First thing is we have our, it's going to be image texture, right? So we do image texture like that. And we open. I'm losing my mind. Textures, UI, loading, open. So that's going to be if I just slap it on as my base color and just look at it there it is in all its glory now if we increase the frames to 600 as what it was and press play cyclic auto refresh yeah there we go um well, that's pretty awkward. Oh, right, 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 right. So, 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 so. It needs to... Oh, yeah, I need to talk with chat as well, right? Um... Yeah, that that's why that that that's our problem right there. Uh, first of all, what animes are Gadi Senpai watching? Stop! Just just stop. Um, what am I watching? Windland Saga. I've started watching Windland Saga yesterday. I like it so far. It's pretty nice. I watched cyberpunk, that cyberpunk anime. That was very nice. I watched Chainsaw Man. I liked it a lot. I watched Spike's Family. That was fine. Um, what else? One Piece. Finally. Finally, the Vano arc is going to end pretty soon. I can't wait to see Gear 5. Luffy beat Kaido. I'm very, very excited for that fight. I know that in manga they already, you know, sorted that one out. Um, but in anime they haven't. So those of you who read the manga, shut up. I know that Luffy wins, but I want to see. I want to see the whole thing. So I'm excited for that. Um... I'm looking forward to Heaven's 
official's blessing or wait heavens official blessing season two images this this is a chinese anime uh the first season was really good i liked it very much it's by the same author uh so the it's from a book and the same author as um, Ma Mo Dao Zushi as this one. They even had like a Netflix drama called The Untamed right here with these two bad boys right here. Um, so I'm 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 looking forward to. Uh, season 2 of Heaven's Official's Blessing. What else is there? Nope. Nothing more. Nothing more. Um, at least I don't remember anything more. All right, so where where are we with this? We are going for a wider range. And for that, I need the timeline and I need to set my end range to, I don't know, like 4,000. <clears throat> it can just keep going. Right, so then we go back to our shading. And now if I press play, oh yeah, update. Uh, why is this at like 19 frames per second? <laughs> um, it didn't even give me an error. It just crashed. Just straight up crashed. All right, that's good. That's good. Good to know. Good to know. That's okay, though. <clears throat> we will we will figure it out. So let let's while we're while we are figuring it out, let's animate this. new folder like a constellation i guess right there 300 4k resolution perfect spit it out for me now this um i wonder if it broke because it was too heavy Maybe we can do... Okay, let's do this. Uh, let's uh, export media. What if we uh, slim this down to like um, 1K resolution? Uh, could you not? Could you not? Could you please be normal? Like that. And let's change this to UI uh, loading 1K. So something very lightweight. Oh, right, take care, man. Take care. See ya. Uh, like that preset custom sure i think we're good uh 80 is a little bit on the yikes side i don't think we need 80 um yeah let's export Subscribe to the channel for the architecture. Click the stream for the grasshopper and blender content. State for the gameplay. And now I'm getting anime recommendations. The stream is great. 
Yeah, wait till I start cooking. I don't know how to cook, but that's that's the fun part of it. Okay, let's open Blender again. So we completely crashed uh, last time. Oh, well, that's naughty. That's naughty. This this shows to me that Blender is actually, yeah, it, it crashed so hard that is, it's uh, not loading. Feet when I'll, pff. I mean, once once I really need the money, to be to be honest. Once I really, really need the money, then then we'll 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 talk. Then we'll talk. For now, I'm kind of okay on the budget side. Okay, we have our one K texture. Uh, Blender is dead though, so I can't open. Bl <laughs> oh no. <laughs> we'll be in touch. My feet are not that great, though. I'd I'd say like a like a solid, like a six out of ten, maybe a seven. On a you know if if uh, let, let's say it like this: in in winter it's like six out of ten, and summer is like more of a more of a seven. Okay, plain. Let's get it in here. Because why not? Uh, again, let's try new material. This time I'm not even gonna call it anything. Just go straight up into shading. Alright, but we do need to hide the root as well as the CRT. And then here... Image texture, open it up. Please work. Oh, it's like 30 megabytes still. I'm doing something wrong. It might be... Oh, we'll see. It might be... The compression. That I'm not compressing it uh, enough. Cyclic auto remesh. Uh, go back into layout. Let's start with something a little bit more reasonable. So let's go for thousand two hundred, I guess. Or we can go for six hundred, honestly. Yeah, let's go for six hundred. Uh, graph editor. Oh, uh, that's where we are. Nope. Timeline. Six hundred. All right, should be good to go. Uh, for some reason, plane has a a keyframe associated with it. That no, no, no keyframes for you, plane. All right, back into shading. Bam, play. All right, okay, we're good, we're Gucci, we're Gucci. So we have that, uh, now it's time to actually figure out what, you know, how, how, how to, um, how, how, how do we make this nice and, and lovely and not look weird? Because right now it's, it's, it's still, it's looking kind of weird. How's the pixelation by the way? It's not bad. I mean, it's not great. It's not bad, though. So I'm happy with this. Okay, let's see. Um, can we... Can we say that we're not using principled, but rather we're using emissive? Emission. That's a shader in itself, right? And then... 
uh, we are also using transparent uh, BSDF color goes into no 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 color goes into a mix map or mix uh, shader node right here as a factor and whatever is white is gonna be wait how does it work uh, let, let's just try it this way this should be okay it's doing something not exactly what i want it to do but i think there is a setting um under here is it volume no settings sampling no viewport display oh there we go blending mode it's not opaque we are clipping with alpha Okay, let's increase the strength. Yeah, I could switch to rendered view as well, but that is going to be. Yeah, that ain't fast, man. That ain't fast. No, we're, we're, we're sticking to this. Um, but but somehow this looks bad right so let's use alpha blend oh this looks much better uh the frame rate is like 25 which is good which is good alpha hashed how does this look like ew no 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 blend blend seems to be doing just fine okay so we have that now that we have it let's go back to our layout grab it um and let's just see what we can do with this rx90 okay um, first of all, I kind of want to subdivide it, but give it a simple subdivision and then apply the subdivision. Then I want to go into edit mode and take this and just kind of gy drag it out like that mm, these ones as well but just a little bit less gy y like that and then push these back in gy a little bit backwards okay and then can we slap on another subdivision uh, where it it keeps the corners but everything else is smoothed out apply yeah that seems seems reasonable doesn't it press play okay then let's look at our CRT which is just kind of standing there chilling um like that come on mm. okay uh, on x you need to be at zero seriously on y you can be wherever you want though uh s scale that baby down like this okay okay
Okay, that's not too bad. Mm. We have a problem though, and that problem is called Eevee. Uh, Eevee Preview. So let's switch to Eevee Render. Yeah, we're at like 1.3 frames. So let's see if we can... If Eevee is at 4... No, that doesn't help. Shit. How can we make this go fast? Uh, Bloom is nice. Depth of field is whatever. Uh, screen space reflections? Nope. Performance, high quality, no, nope, <laughs> nope, 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 indirect lighting, um, bake, not sure if that helps, no, it's still same problem, um, oh, also our freaking plane mm -hmm. one second uh where were we this frame no it was this frame then yeah okay so this frame needs to be deleted and this frame goes to the front actually can it be deleted yes it can that's good this is like the auto framing is just just horrible. Okay, um, I think I think we're there. The last thing to check is uh, I'll optimize it later and render it out and show it to you guys later. But I, I don't want to deal with this right now. The last thing to do is actually to get this. Um, constraints, I guess, or is it a modifier? Let's see. Modifier armature. I could add an armature to it, but I think a constraint is better. Relationship child off target. Um, I need to see. <laughs> the bones the bones um target of uh, root bone is gonna be head okay where the hell did my oh why uh because I guess the center of mass needs to be where the bone is, right? Yeah, I need to apply the transforms for sure. Uh, Control A, right? All transforms. Let's see now. Uh, still doing the same thing. So that didn't help. Uh, but, but, but it might be object uh, set origin, origin to 3D cursor. So that it's, oh shit. Well, we'll see if it's at least closer. Uh, that's, a, that's a no. Oh, I would need light probes for baking. Okay, okay. I'll I'll, I'll ch check that out. Um, okay. So
could it be that the origin needs to be the base of the bone here right here oops i accidentally created the bone uh shift s cursor to select it and then this one uh object origin to 3d cursor no no don't play don't play don't play Turn that on. So weird. Oh, but wait, it's its location is all messed up. Can I zero it out? That's weird. Okay. R, X, whoop. That should work, right? Yeah, that that's that's gonna work. That's gonna work. Okay, so that's nice. Uh, that means that means that we're currently in a freaking stand cycle. No, 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 no. We, we don't, we don't deal with that right now. And we didn't push in the stand into the stand strip. Somehow. But it was pushed in. Because we baked it. Alright, that, that, that's weird. Anyway. Let's just log these. <laughs> or, or we can, uh, I can just add the standing. Okay. I'll make it cyclical later, later down the line. For now, let's just have it locked. Hi, Thomas. You're right at the end of the stream. <laughs> mm. No, Rhino's open. Rhino's open. Okay, let's hide the root. And just see... Okay, so then the action doesn't happen. That's interesting. Oh, that's because I'm not... Okay. It's not playing. Uh, which means that if I do this, that's gonna play. Uh, how do you make cyclic? Ah, it doesn't matter. Or maybe it does. Does it matter? Nah. We can just do. No, no, don't crash, don't crash. Okay. <laughs> didn't crash um so we get a little bit of this situation All right, this is gonna be pretty fun once once we once we figure it out. For now, all I can show you is that without that. Or wait, maybe if we if we select this, 
um maybe we can kind of lie a little bit and what if we disconnect the normals and we disconnect the the roughness and the metallic and we just use that does that it's 12 <coughs> okay we're still at 13 frames per second which is not ideal nah nah we're not gonna be able to play this in real time in blender we're, we're we'll actually need um unreal to be able to play this but that's fine that was the plan all along that was uh roughness right that was metallic and that was normal yeah it's the normals that are that are messing it up okay i think we are now we're done finally finally we're done yeah it's it's a heavy boy i don't know why actually because it's okay it's three hundred forty thousand triangles that might be why <laughs> that might be why wait did i say three thousand three hundred forty thousand um is it a lot it's not that much i can't make it less because even with with this we have let's tab it you know that this is not a lot of resolution is it okay maybe the fingers don't need that level of detail maybe that's um a little bit of a a little bit of a whoops let's see uh l l l l l l l l l l l l l l l l l l Okay, uh, we have uh, 50,000 for both hands. We have 50,000. No, that's not bad. 50,000. Especially if the character is going to be holding something and we're, we're going to have like a camera close to it. Nah, it's fine. It's fine. We're fine. We're fine. It's fine. It's all fine and we have ourselves a little ui animation and we're gonna have more it's gonna be sweet okay i need to eat i think should i eat today yeah probably didn't eat yesterday should eat today all right I'm gonna call it today. Thank you all for watching. I will not stream tomorrow because I'm busy. I'm busy with my university stuff. The, the work on university needs needs attention. You don't need more polygons for flat surfaces of a finger, but quads. <laughs> I need quads. I need them to be nice and quaddy. Yeah, I know. Uh, for hard surface, you don't need clean topology because it, you know, it it nothing bends. Everything is sharp. But still, but still, let's call it a day. Was that? I'll show you the constellation here. 
that's gonna be in the model as well so that that came from grasshopper and this is gonna be in the model as well you know it's pr pr pretty simple pretty straightforward right that also came from grasshopper we'll see how far we can push this save the changes uh no well i'll make my own good night bye bye all